Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Yes, indeed. Alright, let's continue. Um, I have done just a couple of things off stream, like notice that we've got 14 million stone right here, and begin to start using it. Uh, there's also another stone mine here I think we'll take advantage of. Um, we've actually run out of stone for a while, ever since we started. I'm actually not entirely sure why we're consuming that much stone these days. Maybe glass? I don't know. Uh, after, oh, concrete. After we uh, started making concrete is when we noticed... Uh, I can't really account for it with just those two. But yeah, hopefully we'll eventually see all of this stuff saturated. Uh, continued a little bit with preparing the ground to wall up this whole area so we can get at that sweet, sweet copper. Um, about 15 million of it, probably, all up. Especially after productivity bonuses. Oh, and I should probably check on our wayward planet. Um, it doesn't seem like... I suppose uh, the interplanetary artillery that we're using to help clear out these biter bases um, doesn't seem to trigger the biters to actually attack any buildings or anything. Regular artillery, they'll go straight for the source once the shells start landing. But I guess with this one, they just don't know where it comes from. So that helps. Uh, but yeah, once we've finally, finally got the biters off this planet, we'll, uh, we'll give the surface a bit of a trim. And hopefully that'll give us a couple of UPS back. Maybe. Well, it'll be more removing the biters that'll accomplish that. Same thing goes for Nalvis. There's a lot of biter activity that uh, is not UPS friendly. And meanwhile on Nalvis, um, what else was I going to do? Still haven't done the prerequisites for green signs, even though we've got blue and yellow. Military has like three prerequisites that we haven't got in the rail network. Piercing rounds, grenade, and stone wall. Maybe we could do all those things locally, since this block is significantly bigger than what we've used in the past. Uh, as for purple science, uh, rail needs a really high throughput to support itself. Uh, let's see. Iron stick, steel, and stone. I'm pretty sure that's the same as vanilla. Um, where was I going? Electric furnace and productivity module one. Prod one is just red and green circuits. Um, electric furnace. Red circuits, heat shielding, steel. So that is one, two, three... Uh, four, five, six, I think, inputs, if we're going to process everything on the spot. Depending on the layout, maybe we should do purple science that way. Um, but still kind of not worrying about that just yet, because a single manual launch of all of these sciences that we sort out up there it does last quite a while. Um, currently we have... Uh, let's see. I think it's... 
everything except for biosolids. Products finished 164, but fantastic. But why has it stopped now? Probably we ran out of vitamelange, that's why. Wait. Oh, this means we finally already sent some vitamelange into space automatically, and I didn't even realize. Fantastic. So why has bioscience stopped? Uh, we're missing catalogs. We're missing genetic data. Uh, genetic data. We're missing biosludge. But shouldn't it have created a loop already? That seems a little odd. Also... Do we need to prioritize... This makes bioculture out of biosludge. So bioculture goes here. We need the bioculture to make biomass. We need the biomass for this stuff, which we've got. It's really just... Hmm. It's bio sludge that we don't have enough of, but I don't know if this is set up in such a way. I think we tested it, didn't we? Yeah, it should loop with the bio sludge with a positive feedback loop, but um, we probably just need a lot more of it to get it. I don't know. We made a hundred and sixty-four of these. You'd think if it, you'd think it would either. It would either produce zero, or not very many at all, or it would be in an infinite loop. But somehow we got 164 Bioscience 1, and then it just stopped. Interesting. I don't think there's anything left that we can... Uh, we can keep going with survivability. Uh, reusability, cargo safety. We get very much diminishing returns from these. Although, it says it's infinite, but I think someone told me that there is an upper limit. Uh, flamethrower damage? Sure, why not? We do get a little bit of bio sludge out of doing the, uh, <clears throat> uh, material science pack one. So definitely wouldn't hurt to spend a few of those. Um, should probably start with, I'm not sure which one we should start with, to be honest. Thermal radiating speed. Oh, that's just the faster recipe. Alright, let's get some damage bonuses here. And I'll get this as well. Uh, lab research speed. Not really worried about that, to be honest. But if it gets us more bio sludge and maybe gets the loop going again, sure, why not? Artillery shell range three. That is very expensive. I will think about it. Breaking force. Sure, why not? All right, that's enough for now. And where are we going next? Um, our military spiders got a bit confused. Let's get them back to work. Hopefully we haven't had more biter expansions spawn over here. 
while they were just sitting there. We'll get them to do a little patrol afterwards and make sure. Probably going to get stuck in that water again. Oh, that's different water. I don't think it's as thick. Okay. Um, I didn't end up having this crude oil go straight into uh, here to provide fuel for the flamethrowers. What we need to do now is set up a drop-off that will automatically build this wall. We're going to be doing that a little bit differently from what we've done in the past, I suspect. See if I've learned anything make it a bit better this time. Um, I did another patch. I, I, I set these to precisely balanced load. Uh, never mind the extra speed. We'll see if that prevents the jamming issue that we had before. Um, if it's going to get jammed, it'll take who knows how long to happen. Right, so let's see what we can do here. Um, we're going to have some active provider chests, fluid drop off. Uh, we can do this much before we have to think too hard. Just tell LTN what we've got in the fluid tanks. Request. Um, I think I'll do a request stack threshold of I don't know how much. And for a regular stack threshold, we'll set it to 100,000 and that'll be how much fluid it uh, needs to be sent here at a time. And we'll ask for light oil, uh, light oil. We can fit, what, 200,000 here? Let's just say 150k. And connect this up here and there should be wait let me just change the name of the station uh north wall requester whoops okay so in five or ten seconds or so there should be a train on the way Providing light oil. I'll just double check that we do in fact have light oil available. We have a lot of light oil available. Fantastic. Although it is taking LTN a surprisingly long time to queue up this trip. There we go. Now, are you going to be able to get there? It seems we are missing a little bit of rail here. I'm actually on the way there already, and I have rail. Let's do this. And let's also up the speed up a little bit. There we go. Good morning, t hacks and chat. Good morning, Kellogg's. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, okay, so... I think... We're also going to tell LTN what we've got in the logistic network. Except... 
Yeah, that'll be fine, because I've got the default set to, like, a million or something for the provide and request threshold. So if we don't set it to anything, um, if we don't override this by putting something on a signal here, uh, it'll never trigger a train trying to pick up the stuff that's in the logistic network. Also, why do... Oh, I didn't provide purple chests for those. Anyway, let's... Um... Let's actually not with this part. Don't think that's going to be necessary. At least for now. And let's double check and see if our train has a path here now. It does. Fantastic. That research is happening a little quicker than I expected. Nice. Okay, let's bring our purple chests up here. And... Did I put the artillery trains on LTN or are they vanilla? They are vanilla. Okay, cool. Although I saw... Was, we still get that issue if you have no stations available where sometimes vanilla trains get confused like this. So maybe I should set one... Uh, set them to just have um, train limit zero when they're not supposed to be active. Uh, the name of this station is Artillery Shell Drop-Off. I think once our train arrives, we could just change the LTN station to that name, and that might be good enough. Um, actually, no. Because... Yeah, no. Okay. So we're going to make a separate station for this part, I think. Um, where should this come off of the rail? Like this, maybe? Let's do it over here. Just like we did on this side. Can't flip it if I select a signal. There we go. Right then. And then we just need to figure out uh, what things we want brought here. I'll put this on a separate combinator because it's going to be a lot. So we need solar panels. Uh, let's say 100 accumulators, 100. Uh, the tricky thing here is I would love to have a really small stack request threshold for specific items. Um, but other things, I would only want them delivered in bulk. But the circuitry for that might get a bit complicated. Uh, is that a chain signal? I'm surprised the train came here, actually. No path. Where are you trying to go? Fluid depot. Wait, why? Oh, right. This is a fluid train. Uh, it seems you are able to leave here, actually. And then... It's actually all the way down here that you have trouble getting back. 
We just need to add a bit of landfill here. And I don't know if there's any landfill in this robo network. Um, but I can't queue up placing the rail until that's been placed. So that's a bit unfortunate. Um, hmm. We're going to have to send the construction spiders back there, I think. They might actually be done here anyway. Okay. So let's build a station over here for our artillery shell drop-off. It's going to be a vanilla station. One, two, three, four, five, six. A little bit further. That should be fine. And... That's not far enough yet. And then this way. That's good. Um, I guess it doesn't strictly need to be purple chests for this one. And stack inserters would make no difference here, because you can't, there's no stack size to artillery shells. So same thing, um, I think we'll move these, oh I can't move that one. Uh, we need some roboports down here. Not so many, they're not going to have to move shells that often, or in that high of a volume. Let's just put this here, big power pole, and we're going to name this station, uh, same as this one, artillery shell drop off, train's already on the way, um, and we're going to... Let's see. I want to test something, actually. If I set... Uh, let's see. If I set the train limit to artillery shell... Instead of enable disable... Um, I'm guessing a negative number for artillery shell will not bring it above zero. Right, and if I set that to 100, train them at 100, good. Okay. So, I think all we have to do here is kind of like what we do with LTN, but this is vanilla. Um... We're going to read the logistic network contents, uh, and we're going to say set train limit artillery shell, and that's actually backwards. Um, if there is, if there's not enough artillery shells, it's going to be a negative number. So I think we have to, like, multiply it by negative one. Yeah. Let's add a arithmetic over here. Um, move this here. 
artillery shell times negative one. So we're asking for a hundred artillery shells if we don't have any, which is gonna set the train limit to a hundred. That might be a bit much. So instead, let's use a decider combinator. Oops. Wait, what? What window am I using here? Okay, if artillery shell greater than zero, output one artillery shell. Oh, if it's less than zero. And that'll do it. Now, did our train get confused or is it stuck somehow? There's actually fluid train trying to go here, and this one is still trying to come up this way. No path, because why? For the same reason that the light oil train doesn't have a path back here. Let's just add that rail. And once the spider legs are out of the way, one of these trains will get going. Both at the same time, actually. And then our fluid train can come in here. Artillery train can do its thing up here. Cool. So that'll get the shells here specifically. And since we're now using train limit, we shouldn't get any issues with... Um, it just occurred to me that these uh, might start firing. Oh no. Get out of here. Go, go, go. We're not ready. Um, yeah, let's turn this off for now. And once the wall is actually complete... Okay, so this is... Four stacks, that's definitely not 40. Let's just check that this is working. And that should have a train uh, bringing us accumulators and solar panels quite soon. Although now that I think about it, no, we do have accumulators and solar panels available for small trains, but still, um, I should have put pr uh, put into practice what I was thinking of before, where we set the provide stack threshold lower. We can use a larger request threshold when we only want big trains to come, and. Um, to make sure we don't, like, imbalance this if small trains take from the front only, we would have to maybe even limit the chests and make sure they're full or something. I don't really want to do it that way. Still not entirely sure how I would like to go about that, but I'm pretty sure... All of the things that we're going to request here are going to be available for small trains. Um, okay, good. That train wasn't stuck or anything. From either one of these two logistic networks, um, we should get a small train coming to deliver solar panels and accumulators soon. Since our request stack threshold is 4, and this is 1, 2, 3, 4, hoping that's all it takes. Also, did we get the flamethrowers fueled? We missed a little bit of pipe. Let's go place that. And one more over here. That's going to make all the difference to how well defended our little wall is for now. 
Um, I want to get some robots here. Construction. Logistic. What else? Whoops. Okay. Um, what else goes at our defensive walls? Steel walls, lasers, pipe, uh, gun turrets, lasers. Actually, let's just do all of this stuff that's going to be relevant in order. Lasers. Oops. Lasers go here. Let's copy paste that so it doesn't take as many clicks. And just one stack of those. Um, radar, sure. We're still not getting a train coming. Um, with this stuff. And I'm not entirely sure why. Oh, is this it? Uh, that's a lot. And no, it is not. I'm a little bit concerned. Um, it will do the smallest of these two, right? Let's just do request stack threshold one. Maybe it's because we're only asking for like one or two stacks of each of these things. Um, it's going to take a few seconds if that's what it took to fix it. That's the... It's one of the little things that I don't love with LTN, waiting a random few seconds to see if um, to see if you've set it up properly. Request threshold. We are doing requests, right? Yep, there we go. Fantastic. You're just picking up solar panels, though. Where are you picking them up from? Here. Okay. Wait, I actually did set this up so that... Minimum train length 6, maximum train length 6. This is a long train, actually. I guess that's fine. I would prefer a small train. I, I mean, I could... Hmm. I guess I should have made it so that we only bring small trains here. Except then we can't do the fluid wagons. Unless we do a small fluid wagon. That might have been a bit more sensible. Oh well, too late now. Um... Here come our hundred solar panels or whatever it is. So this seems to be working. What else do we need uh, delivered up here? Uh, pipes, blue inserters, blue chests, three colors of chests actually. Let's put them here. Why small fluid wagon? Um, not that I want the small fluid wagon specifically, but we could have used small wagons for both. Noxie Way Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's see, fast inserters. And... Uh... Pipe, pipe, and uh, 
tank. Let's put that down here. Tank. Uh, really glad, though, that I did set up this system that offers everything that's in the logistic network to the small cargo wagons. Uh, wish I'd done that a long time ago when we were dealing with this station over here. Because you don't want to store too many light oil there? No, I don't really mind. It's just that the small cargo wagons are... Uh, the small wagons are faster, that's all. Um... Also, if we're doing, like, a small amount of requests for all of these things, a big train that brings just one specific type of thing is a bit of a waste. The small trains, when they pick stuff up, can get all sorts of things at the same time because they're getting it from Logistic Network. What else we got? Substations, big poles, combinators and switches. I'm going to need another one of these. Substation, big pole. Combinator. I think it was a decider combinator, wasn't it? And switches. That's what we need for the latches that we use for the power management. Not that we're any, uh, using any of those just yet. And then... Lights. And I think that's it. Okay. Now... Don't have any blue chests here, that's fine. Oh, we also want ammo. Say... 600? And we've already got the artillery shells set up. Um, those are the only kinds of ammo. And then... Let's start laying out our first upgrade to this wall. Just have to line this up first. One accumulator is not going to be placed because of those pipes, that's fine. And double check that we're not destroying any cliff for the sake of wall. Like here. Fantastic. So all of that's going to get built automatically, um, provided that we get some... Oh, there we go. Uh, you actually finished your job already. Oh, I think it was delivering to a different station. This one is delivering to where we are now. And as you can see, it's picking up a whole lot of different things from the logistic network. The loading system for this is not as fast as it could be, but it's a hell of a lot more reliable uh, than what we've had previously. What the insert is doing now is just keeping this stuff handy um, anything that, anything that, uh, is left in the request to chest after we're done, we could chuck it back into the network with, uh, active provider chest, but I think we may as well keep some of it close by in case it saves us some, uh, bot logistics, because... We're going to have repeat offenders for types of items that get picked up here. And this one is picking up ammo. We don't have any ammo in here, so it's all going to have to be dropped by the logistic bots. Anyway, here comes our nice small train. And 
bringing several types of items. Fantastic. Including bots? Question mark. I don't think so. Um, I haven't actually set something up here to get bots into the system, but I think it's fine if we just seed it like so. And I'll put a couple of requesters here. Actually, just one. Filter in so Oh, let's do it here. We're already using that robopollet with the circuitry. Uh, so we're going to put a requester chest. Filter inserter. And set filters blacklist. But we're going to read the bot statistics. Available logistic bots. As, as logistic bots. Available construction bots as construction bots. And if there is zero available for either type, um, this will put them into the robo network. Those are the wrong way around. Right, so logistic bots will bring those over here. We actually did receive a shipment of them. There it goes. Fantastic. Nice. So this entire wall should get built automatically. Won't take too long either because it's all quite short and close to the drop off. Um, although we do have, uh, I don't see any. Let me just check. Yeah, we do have a couple of, there it is next to the RoboPod, a couple of green chests so that we distribute stuff that needs to be built or replaced uh, somewhat evenly. No harm in helping out directly either. Oh, and let's send our construction spiders. Uh, may as well get them to resupply since I can't think of anything else. No, I want them to build this mine before they do. Um, let's check on our ammo situation over here. Looking good. Bring the spooters up this way. And make sure... There's no spider expansions too close by, by the time we want to build a wall up here somewhere. We also need to set up the same thing over here before the biters get serious. Let's grab our rail, bring it over this way. Um, I'll drop off everything I can here first. And the final upgrade to the wall is, uh, not much different from the second one. We're just adding some, uh, artillery. I think I meant to change the circuitry for these gates as well. Whoops. I'll have to see how that goes. Oop -a -doop. What else can we do for now? Running out of things we can research. There we go. And we could do artillery shell range. You know what? Why not? That should keep it going for a while. Oh, and... Uh, 
efficiency module 5, why not? Let's just do everything that we know is going to get done without any intervention. These, these are really going to take a while though, I think. Right then. Next is to set up stations over here. Uh, but first... Let's add another stone mine. Actually, I'll use the design that's a bit more spread out for this one. Right about... Where should I start? Not sure. We could do a vertical... There really isn't a good shape for this one. Let's just lay that out and see how it goes. My bots are still looking rather busy. Or is it my bots? Or the logistic bots? Why do we have a million... Oh, I was carrying like a million artillery shell... Uh, artillery turrets for some reason. Well, that's one less thing we need delivered over here, I guess. Here come some butts. And they should get put in here immediately. And we've already got enough lo logistic bots, so we're not putting any more in for now. Uh, some storage chests might be in order, since... The stuff in the purple chests is not going anywhere otherwise. How many is this? That's already 48. Uh, let's drop that into the network. And then... I need to actually get these belts together as well. Is that going to cover everything? Almost. Not breach. That should have it covered. Okay. And then we just need a station. How about... One, two, three, four, five. Of course it had to be five. Let's do one of these. And I think I'll just put it in the middle. Who's there? And these two. And we're just going to slide the rest of it into the side here. And 
where shall we put our station? Right about here. That might be too close. That's actually perfect. No, it isn't. It needs to move over two tiles. This goes here, and this goes here, and we need a station. Actually, how close should that be? And why aren't our spiders building it? There we go. All good. Um, that should be fine. Yeah, that should be okay. Let's go for a pickup station left side. We'll have to upgrade the fast inserters. Can't see what we're doing. There we go. And then we just need some power. Which we can fit right about here. And don't forget to power the whole thing. Do we have prods everywhere? I think we do. Looks good. Uh, I was going to say it's looking surprisingly slow, but no, I think we're fine now. Oh, and I did a little experiment and found that if we just set it to a, to let each stack inserter go only one stack ahead of the average, um, I think that keeps it going at full speed. Or at least keeping up with four blue belts quite easily. Now let's bring them over and build this rail. Uh, I have found that just adding these little points here seems to get the bots to jump out. So, if I've done that right, they should build this entire thing as they go. And we can copy... Uh, honestly, we could probably just copy this whole thing. For the stations here. Yeah, that seems totally fine, actually. Although, I could probably change the name of this station. Don't really need to, though. Uh, what I do need is some more colorful chests. So, let's go back. I kind of want to use the taxi, though, because it is just a little bit... Uh, I can't queue them, I can't queue the train to go where it doesn't have a path to yet. Let's just ride the spider back. And in 
a few seconds, we should see if the construction spiders will do their thing, like I said. Looking good. Looking very good. Although, with how far back some of these spiders are, I wonder if that'll be a problem. No, it seems to be working. Even though these spiders aren't catching up with this one. I do believe they're going to build all of that in one go. Nice. Military spiders are chilling. Getting a bit low on rockets, but... They're not going to face a serious threat while they're still out. Not particularly looking forward to having to build a diagonal bit of wall again. Maybe we could just build it left and then north from about here. Yeah, I think that would be better. Okay, I think they ran out of rail. Unfortunate. Okay, um, I might just get them to clear out this little base here before they go. Since we did give them some rockets. I may have gotten rid of all the rocket production back at the main base, though. Um, hopefully not literally all of it. Okay, let's bring them back to base. Looks like they can just go in a straight line. Yeah, we've still got a bit of rocket production. That should be all we need for um, the construction spiders. Right then. This is a lot of ground to cover. How is our outpost doing? Spiders didn't get a scratch. Fantastic. Let's bring them over here. And I think I'm going to have to babysit them to safely clear out this one. Anything else the construction spiders could be doing on this planet? Uh, we've got a few accumul... We've got one accumulator left. It's literally just, um, flat solar panels that we would need to expand this further, but kind of hard to tell how well we're doing with power at the moment because it's nighttime, but it looks like the accumulators are getting full just as the morning finishes, so I don't think we're struggling here. That's actually exactly what I want to see. What, what I really want to know is how much excess uh, power production we've got. It looks like we can do 389 million. Um, yeah, about 389 megawatts, and we're only using half of it. We can definitely add a few more coal mining drills, probably not as many as I want to just yet. But considering this is our source of vitamin lunch, um, and we've already got... Well, at least for now, uh, we've got vitamin lunch in, automatically in the orbital base. But that's only because the 
uh, genetic data stopped because we ran out of bio sludge. Hmm. Judging by the fact there's nine of these in here, I think this was probably working just fine. We could and maybe should turn a whole bunch of wood into some bio sludge or maybe fish. Um, let's see. This is not what we're looking for. We can turn... We'll end up with contaminated scrap if we do that. I don't think we want to turn biomass into biosludge. Raw fish and cosmic water. Or wood and cosmic water. That's right. We used to set... We used to get all of our wood disposed of over here. Um, and it went into green circuits with this alternate recipe. But I stopped that because we wanted to use wood for bio sludge. Do you produce bio sludge with biomass? Uh, no. You need the biomass to sludge recipe to maintain the loop. Um, I don't know if that's how we did it before. We had a loop here. And... I th Let's see. Things that produce... Oh, you're right. Biomass to bio sludge. Okay. I could have sworn we tested this before. Maybe I just forgot that we're turning biomass into bio sludge. Maybe not. So, all of our biomass goes on this belt, I believe. Well, considering that this thing produced 164 products and then stopped, maybe we did test it, but not for long enough. Yeah, I think that's probably it. Okay. Um, where should we put it? We've got a belt right here. That's going to be pretty convenient. Which machine do we use for this? A biochemical facility. In fact, I'll copy paste the recipe and modules. Uh, this seems like the most obvious place to put it. The only question is where do we get the cosmic water from? There's some cosmic water over here. That's going to be pretty easy, actually. So, what if... I might have to change this underground pipe a little... Uh, underground belt a little bit. And... Not even that. We could put that there. Put this here. Bring the uh, cosmic water over this way. Let's do it in the middle. And then, what do we need? A nine or so? And a 3B. Okay, where are our spiders? Here we go. I can't believe I forgot that part. Oh, I think it was just... I kind of just built the whole thing out. And... Didn't remember the all the specifics of how the loop works. And hoped for the best. The fact that... Again, the fact that this produced nearly 200 items. Um, you can see how I might have thought that it was working. Alright, there is our cosmic water. 
Unfortunately, we don't have any bio sludge. Oh, we've got some on the belt here. Hmm. What's the easiest way to get a bit of bio, uh, biomass into this machine? I don't think there is a particularly easy way. Do we have some in the robo network? We do. Okay. Um, how far does the robo network? If I extend the robo network all the way down here, I could put a request uh, to place the uh, biomass on that belt. Hmm. It would be easier if I just go up there. I do need to go up there to grab a Tesla gun. So that might be a good idea anyway. Is there anything particularly urgent we need to do here that I can't do by remote control? Just use the Spidertron to transfer? How? Um... Where are our construction spiders? Are they resupplied? Yes. Let's get them to get these stations in order. That should do it. You got robot network at your second space base. Uh, only way up the north. I would have to... I would have to add a lot of roboports. I guess we can do that, but I want to go up to space to grab the Tesla gun anyway. I should check how many roboports are up here as well. Um, we do have a thing here somewhere for isolating individual things. We have 13 roboports in the network. We could maybe have them reach down here? Pro probably. But yeah, need to go up there anyway. So. Why do I not have construction bots? Are we that... Are we struggling that much with bots? 1.2k. No, I think the logistic bots are just still a bit busy. Construction bots, 100. So why do I have 61? On the way, 0. Satisfaction, 100 out of 100. Huh? Oh no. I have bots following me somewhere, don't I? Is this them? Oh no. Tell you what, bots. Why don't you find your way back to this, the nearest robo network? And sort yourselves out there. Okay. And I've been meaning to put some in here as well. Once I've got my construction bots, um, I'm not going to be in orbit for too long. Oh, I could take the wood up there while we're at it. How about... I should really keep an empty rocket for th things like this. Um... I think I know how we ended up with spiders in the logistic network. 
lying around. I'll leave that as it is for now. Is this empty? Fantastic. Uh, what are we asking for? All of the wood. We have only 28. That's surprising. Oh, it's like 28 times 10. Even so. Are these trains stuck or just slow? This one has no path. This is the trash pickup vanilla disabled stop issue that I was talking about before. I thought I fixed it by making one of the trash pickups just train limit zero all the time, but apparently not. I need to revisit that. Alright, that's all of our wood, in case we want to make some biomass later, biosludge. Alright, no more procrastinating, let's just go. Nervous Orbit General? And let's put on our thruster suit. How much Tesla gun, Tesla gun ammo do you have? Uh, zero. I, I, I'm just making it this time. Uh, good to see you again, Mass. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So, this is looking awfully full. Uh, we should be packing this stuff. Not going to worry too much about it right now. It's definitely something I can fix by remote control. Let's grab the biomass and shove it into the network, or rather onto the belt. We're still not getting Rough data storage substrates for now. That's a bit surprising. As soon as I drop these, we'll have a look at why. That's material. This is bio. Okay. Uh, and bio goes on both sides of this belt. No need to worry about that. That'll do, actually. A ragamuffin, good to see you again. A welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What's up with this little gap here? That's kind of weird. I think we just saw the first bit of fluid go through here. Fantastic. Uh, I may have forgotten to get rid of the scrap. So it's contaminated scrap. Where is our scrap output from this place? Bioscience doesn't seem to produce any scrap except for this part. Or is this it? This is a junk data card. I'm pretty sure that's all going to go on the same pair of belts. Yeah, that's right. So... We need it to get to this belt, if we can. We could move this over a little bit, and then we can put this here, not quite like that. This goes here.
in that reach, not quite. I see motion. I think that's our loop. Fantastic. Does it matter if Biosludge ends up completely full? I think it might. So let's add a storage tank now that we don't know where to put it. Um, we could do it here, maybe? A young Jesus. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I could put this down this way. Move this here. And then... That's weird. I can see these two are connected, but... No, they're not. Alright. So, we need to disable this when there's too much biosludge and things are going to get stuck. Uh, can I maybe move this over here? That'd be too easy. I guess we'll piggyback off of this bit of belt here. And we're just going to say... Bio sludge has to be less than 20k. That way we're never going to overfill the entire... Oh. I see. Uh, that way we're never going to overfill the entire network. Uh, so that things that... If there's anything that outputs bio sludge incidentally, I don't think there is. But if there is, um, that'll keep it from jamming the whole network. Fantastic. I forgot to bring the Holmium cable. It's fine. We can make it out of Holmium. We just won't get the productivity bonus. Wait, wasn't there also something I wanted to check once I fixed this? Uh, that chest is empty as well. Let's grab it back. Contaminated biosludge produces biosludge. Yes, indeed. Oh yeah, and we incidentally sh uh, spit out contaminated biosludge. Good point. Although we know that part's net negative without this thing. Alright, so we need some... We only need 10 Holmium Cable. And... Can we handcraft it? We need plastic as well. Uh... Oh, it's being put in my trash slots. Okay. Ten of that. And then we need ion stream. And an electromagnetics facility. I don't think we have a spare one of those. Um... Spiders probably should be carrying it if we do. Whoops. Where does that go? Here? That's a particle accelerator. That's an electromagnetic facility. And if they're not already carrying one... Nope. Let's get our automated system up here to build us one. 
Electro magnetics facility. Turn this on. That gets pulsed into the memory cell. That is setting our recipe with the crafting combinator. And that's setting our requests for things that we need to make this. Except we appear to have none available. Okay, there's definitely stuff in the logistics network. But apparently we have no bots. All 50 of them are active. I think we just received a rocket and they're emptying the uh, cargo rocket sections from one of these. Or they just just about finished it. Okay. Um, so, let's head up this way. You need quite a lot of ammo. It shoots fast. You can test it. It doesn't do damage to buildings. Okay. Uh, I noticed the ammo we can actually make on the ground, so that's not going to be too much of a hassle. Uh, but since the bots are really busy for now, let's give them a hand. I know we needed LDS. We always need LDS. We also need... Oh. Now it's all on the way. Processing unit. Base assembly machine is already there. That was quick. Oh, it's finished. Fantastic. I didn't even need to lend a hand, actually. Okay. I'll chuck that extra stuff I picked up back in the network, then. And... I'll head back down to where we've already got the plasma stream. Why don't you build separate logistic networks so you can have more than 50 logistic bots? It's 50 logistic bots per surface uh, in order to have none of them randomly die. That's the thing I was concerned about as well. Why do we still have no rough data storage substrates? There's no iron? I know that's not right. Right, do I? 15k, 29k, so there absolutely should be a train coming to pick up this iron. Are we missing a... We're missing some wires. Okay, then. Wait, are we missing some wires? No, we're outputting 29k here, and it is getting to... The logistic train stop. I think I just set the provide stack threshold a bit higher. Okay, but... We actually don't have that much iron. Um, turn, turns out, now that we got the smelter capacity up, we are actually struggling iron-wise. A Velda. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's get our Tesla gun built at least. I think I may have saw and saw seen. Uh, okay, how is our iron here completely? Oh. Well, this will help. Uh, that's four million iron. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Indeed. Welcome, Marcel. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I thought we had a giant iron mine here as well. We do. It's just a throughput issue. Oh, these should be f stack inserters. Yeah, those should be stack inserters. 
Where am I right now? I am in orbit. How about our local construction spiders? Um, they are way over here. And this thing is not powered. Let's remedy that for now. Is that not... I think that was just barely not in range. There we go. And we're going to need something similar over this way. Oops. Although, yeah, once again, I'm not going to activate this until we've actually got the wall beefed up. We don't want the arty train firing shots until the wall is defensible. Alright, Tesla gun. And we require... Do you have some iron string? Yes, good. Let's just put this here. Let the spiders do a little dance. Put in all of our ingredients, and away we go. Seems I accidentally made twice as much Holmium cable as I meant to. Mia Ten, thank you for the Prime sub. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You can't make the ammo on the ground? Um, I'm pretty sure you can. It just takes Holmium Pla- Oh, no. You have to make it in an electromagnetics facility. Okay, I see how it is. Uh, do we already send batteries up here? We do not. Um, should we send batteries to here? We're probably going to want to... We might end up wanting to put them in the space rail network. And I'd rather get the productivity bonus. I'd rather get the productivity bonus um, regardless. Where's the ammo? There it is. Holmium plate is here. Yeah, I think we will do that. It is going to be a whole lot of batteries sent up for the first wave. That is maybe a little bit overkill, but I don't think I particularly care. All right, let's make it this one. Battery. You can't send batteries by cannon, right? I'm pretty sure. No, of course you can't, because if we could, I wouldn't have had to do sulfuric acid barrels um, in order to make media defense installation ammo. So, battery's going to go here, which is this station. Battery. And we're going to request battery. Uh, what does it... Oh, why does this one have batteries? Are we sure I didn't do... Oh, here we are. Novice Orbit Battery. Huh. Okay, let's quickly remove this. And I'm just going to set those to fish so I know they're not in use. Okay. 
where on earth are we sending batteries? Albus Orbit Battery. It doesn't really matter because I can just... Well, actually, if it's in the network already, we might just use the bots for this. So, I guess I lied. It does matter. We don't need batteries directly for science. Do we actually have batteries here and I just missed them? No. Or did I think we were going to need batteries for some reason? And we don't actually do that yet. I don't think you can set the target unless um, a landing pad exists already, right? Why does Iridium Plate have steel in it? That seems like a mistake. That's 50,000 steel just sitting there idly. Now this orbit battery, there it is. And that gets used for railgun ammo. Okay. And we've actually already got an electromagnetics facility right here, taking advantage of this ion stream specifically to make ammo, oddly enough. Um, I'm not entirely sure why this is empty, though. I guess... it's because we didn't set this to launch automatically. So, I guess we'll do that. Launch on cargo full. And... Just add a couple of things to take advantage of the logistic bot network. Just a little bit. Actually, it's easier if I go there directly. This time. Where's our holmium? Right here. I saw on stream of Jinx and Jazz that you can have more than 50 bots if you have multiple logistic networks on the same surface. Uh, I might have to try that experiment. I think we've already got it set up, actually. No, we don't. This one's automatically adding more logistic bots to this network. I did manually drop off 50 here, but that's... Um, that's not all. Just start Mamdo. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're going well. Alright, so I'm just going to put a passive provider, one stack, and then... Let's head back up this way. We're going to have to move these pipes, I think. Or we could... Damn it, I forgot to... I forgot to take back the... Um... The one machine that we placed down here that was temporary, I think. Or did I? Nope, here it is. Oh, and we accidentally made a couple of extra Tesla guns. That's fine, I suppose. So, once we pick that up... Head back up this way. Place a pipe over here. 
and add a passive provider. Uh, just like we did down here, just one stack. And a stack filter to take out batteries. So I realize it could have just had an inserter pointing here for the battery part for this one, but oh well. Okay. Battery. I guess we could probably belt it. Actually, no, this is silly. If I don't mind some... Just a handful of girders sticking out here, we can just do it like this. Why are we not placing our electromagnetics facility? What? Where did it go? You all have bots, right? Yes? I don't see any bots in this one. Oh, there we are. It could only have been the spiders that deconstructed this mag facility. Oh, is it in their trash slots? shouldn't be. One of them should... One or two of them should be carrying an electromagnetics facility and a couple of Tesla guns. Is it in my inventory? But it should be getting placed if it's in my inventory. Also... The Tesla guns should maybe be in my invent. Where on earth did... Don't tell me they ended up in the logistic network. Um, do I have like a request for zero Tesla guns or something? No? Tesla gun. Am I in the logistic network? I am not. How about now? I see nothing. Logistic requests disabled. There we go. On the way, store... Oh, wait. On the way, zero, storage, zero. What the hell happened? Some of them have the Holmium plate that they would have picked up uh, when they picked up the electromagnetics facility. D is this a bug? Did it just get deleted? Oh, I think I found the culprits. <laughs> okay. Don't scare me like that. Let's take our Tesla gun... And which slot should it take up? Probably the submachine gun, right? Robots flying slowly, indeed. Let's make some Tesla gun ammo. And we're going to need robot network over here. Also some power, and some Holmium plate. Holmium plate. Logistic storage 100, good, that'll come. Also the spiders should be carrying a little bit 
of it already. Now comes the question of if we're going to need so m It's one Holmium plate per ammo. So probably it's going to be far. Oh, I thought this needed ion stream for some reason. The gun needs the iron stream to be made, but not the ammo. Which means I could have put this somewhere a bit more intelligent. Whoops. Um, power goes here. And, of course, we can't prod this. And there it is. Uh, let's put our ammo here. I'm just a little sad that this has to be made in orbit. Um, but that's because we're still on cargo rockets as the only automated... Well, cargo rockets and um, delivery cannons, but we can't use delivery cannons for this. AT hacks. When you're done with this playthrough, do you think you'll try out SE plus K2? Uh, sure, but maybe not straight away because this this is a marathon, obviously. Or maybe I'll change up my schedule so that we switch between some playthroughs. I could do that before we finish this one, I suppose. Um, how much ammo should I wait for? before we go back. This is the only thing I came up here for this time, right? Let's change our logistic requests. Exactly one of these. And ammo. What does it stack to? Tesla gun ammo 200. It is 200 in one stack. Yes, indeed. Uh, okay, I kind of want to save scum and just try this out real quick. Instead of waiting. So, apparently I can shoot it at buildings and it won't do anything. Oh my goodness. That looks amazing. And that's like half, half of one ammo, I think. Yeah. I'm guessing that's going to be a little bit effective on groups of fighters. And the fact that it doesn't damage your own buildings. Oh, it kind of... It kind of goes out of its way to jump to entities like that, doesn't it? Right, so I think a stack of 200 is gonna... Because I, I generally don't, like, use ammo all that often. Um, I think just having a stack of 200 is gonna be fine for a while. Yes, it is very good. Yeah, I can imagine. So we've got our... Uh, super effective anti-group weapon, and we've got the railgun for picking off um, the spawners. Speaking of biters, uh, why don't we play with them a little bit more? One of our spiders took a tiny bit of damage, I'm not too worried yet. Oh, this might be a bit more than I meant to bite off. Yeah, I should have done that a bit more carefully. Hit the worms from this side and this side first. I thought a little bit of footwork would be all that was required there, but I was wrong. 
let's get you repaired. Okay, so when can I put Tesla guns on the spiders that are, uh, that runs on battery power? 38. It will take a little while before we get, um, the 200 ammo that we're looking for. It makes two at a time? No, it makes one at a time. 10 seconds each. Uh, this is like four, one ammo every four seconds. Which is going to take like 13 and a half minutes. Uh, it'd be a bit of a pain to make another one of these. Is there anything else that I should be doing while I'm still in orbit? I don't think so. I could top up my railgun ammo, which has already been done, actually. Um, oh, I, I should set up automation for the better solar panels. Which means I should be getting Holmium cables sent up here. Um, so that we get the productivity bonus. I'm thinking... Uh, if I had to do, do it all again, aesthetically, I would like to put the Holmium plate next to the Holmium cable. But that aside, uh, because all of this I'm going to put into the rail network, I think... We will put Holmium Cable here. And I don't know if there's a cargo landing pad in the Robo Network right now. It is possible that there was just one of them. And it's on its way now, but I doubt it. It's not too hard to handcraft it. There's just a lot of stuff we have to pick up. Uh, a thousand concrete, a thousand steel. I know where to get a thousand steel. Actually, I should really investigate this. Apparently, there's probably a cargo rocket with steel that's aimed at... Maybe it was aimed at the wrong one before, and I fixed it. Let's make absolutely sure there isn't a automated cargo rocket that's going to launch steel to the wrong place. I am not seeing it. That should be the last one. And up here, there's one more set. Okay. Um, what about in the old base? Not seeing it here either. So presumably... It was probably the cargo rocket that's full of steel now, the, car uh, the cargo rocket silo, that was aimed at Iridium Plate, and I guess I didn't realize um, that it was actually... By the time I changed it, it had already been sent. What else do I need here? Uh, that was steel. I meant to pick up concrete. Concrete is here. And here we go. Use more facility. The Tesla gun insta-kills everything almost except for behemoth biters. Seriously. 
including rocks and trees. So a stack is actually a ton of ammo. Nice. Alright, landing pad goes here. And then... What was it I wanted to use the Holmium cable for? I wanted to automate space rail, but... Ooh, that needs energy catalog. Uh... Oh, that's right. I wanted to automate the better solar panels. We need regular solar panels first. Hmm. Maybe it would be better to start the space rail blocks before we before we go adding things to this. So where would we automate space rail from the main bus? We need energy catalog. So it pretty much has to be here. Luckily, energy catalog is something that we have not had trouble making. But given the shape of this, uh, it might be difficult to have it removed. What else do we need? Regular rail, copper cable, and steel. Since we're going to make so much of it, I'll probably just add some cargo rocket uh, landing pads, honestly. Where's our spooters? I do not feel like flying right now. Oops. And why don't you remove that for now? We're going to need some more scaffolding. I don't know if the spiders are carrying much. 767, 1.1k. That might be good enough. I do wish the Spidertron remotes could work kind of like blueprints do, where they don't take up inventory space. That way I wouldn't have to keep recreating them with the nav set. Uh, how big are these? We can actually fit them here. Okay, so in that case, we need rail, copper cable, steel and energy catalog so i think we just put three uh landing pads next to each other here or maybe down here would be better i think i guess we could move this belt a bit That might make more sense. Whoa, 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 don't do that. No. Goes there. This goes here. Spiders do the rest. And then... This doesn't have a condition on it or anything. I could move this substation, actually. Um, I'd have to do this first. And this can go here. This can say stay in the same spot. And then belt goes up this way. 
landing pad goes here somewhere. What do we use to make space rail? Space manufacturing. Which is actually as big as a cargo rocket uh, landing pad. I don't suppose... I'm pretty sure there isn't a way to fit these uh, so that we can have all of the... all of the items just direct inserted. We don't really need this pipe. That's actually full. That shouldn't be happening. It, wait, what? Oh, okay. That's that's fine. Cool. That means we completely caught up with... Uh, we're having thermo fluid looking too full again. I can't remember where I added some storage for it. Here it is. But we're going to have to come up with something different for how these things operate. Yeah. Uh, seems like even though this is stopped, we're gaining fluid. Not sure. Hello, Hex. Hello, Chet. A bit late today. How are your progress? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well as well. Well, Bill. Welcome, welcome. Um, I actually slacked off a little bit with expanding this wall out here. Uh, but using some passive provider chests. Whoops. Let's queue up a couple of move orders for our spiders here. You go back to the main network. Um, military spiders up here. Let's. I'm pretty sure they've cleared everything, but let's just send them on patrol to make sure. And I think after that we'll get them to resupply. Um, our self-building wall here seems to be... what's going on with this? There's no power for the lamps, that's normal, actually. Uh, flamethrower turrets, more importantly, are full. This gun turret over here doesn't quite have ammo. Let's put this here. Same thing over this way. Uh, but yeah, we're still lacking... We've still got nowhere near as much spiked steel wall production as we should. I think we're only making it in the original main bus base. But other than that, uh, this whole thing has built itself quite nicely, it looks like. I'll wait until the wall is produced before we add the artillery. Um, but yeah, I think... Just because of that, we should... Come down here for our production of space rail. Shouldn't be difficult to find room this way. So tentatively, I'll put that there. Do we even have a space manufacturing? Let's order a few more, shall we? 
base menu factory. Let's add another 10. Automated system will produce that relatively quickly. Uh, let's get the spiders to go and pick them up. Not before you dump the rest of that scaffolding, actually. That should be more than enough. Alright, back to... We've actually already got some. Wait, do the spiders not have a request for space manufactories? They should. I don't think they do. Okay. Space manufactory. And make it 10. And what's the color here? 16, 255, 255. That should do it. Now, uh, just to keep things simple, we're just going to... Actually, I kind of like this shape a little bit better. Although, if we do it like this... No, that's fine. We're going to have to extend our robo-network down here to get rid of the cargo rocket sections and such. That's no big deal. In fact, let me just copy-paste this. And this. Actually, like that. Direct insert. And I need to make three cargo landing pads. I should really automate them. Everything we need is in the robo network, right? Except for radars. So, never mind, I guess. Uh, we're going to request a thousand of... Whoops. Steel. And concrete. Actually, that's probably too cruel, considering the limited... Uh, Bots we've got here. Let's just take from here and auto trash didn't kick in. That works, I guess. Concrete as well. One. Two. And three concrete back you go. I guess I didn't really need to change those requests at all. Where's our spiders? We'll ride them back to where we're going. Oh, I just realized. Um, copy pasting cargo landing pads is probably going to give them the name of what I copy pasted. Um, which could immediately send a rocket somewhere inappropriate. So maybe let's not do that. But I will ride the spiders back. And while that's happening, 
Let's check on, I suppose, Nalvis. That's not good. Where's our military? Uh, that's really not good. I thought we cleared all this. Apparently not. Where's the nasty little biter base that spawned these guys? It didn't get through the wall, did it? No? So there's an expansion around here somewhere, I think. It's a lot of area to cover. It's not this one, is it? It is this one. That's not on an island at all. Okay, do we have a... Uh... It's a really small threat. Let's get the construction spiders to deal with it. If I can click on the right one. There we go. Alright, off. Can I queue this up while we're saving? Not really. Off you go. And... Back up this way to repair all that. Where did the biters go? They're heading to the wall and not destroying anything else. There is a little bit of a hole in the wall now, though. Deconstruction mission? By the biters? Yes. Okay. There aren't any more little non-islands that I missed, are there? Sabotage? I don't remember thinking the biters were on my side, but okay. Alright, so this requires... Let me just double check. You can only make that in a space manufacturing. Okay, cool. So this is going to put the catalogs in. And then we need Elvis Orbit Copper. Is it Copper Cable that it's called in this game? Copper Cable. Copper Cable. And then rail. Well, now we have two reasons to put uh, rail into the rail network. So I guess that's going to motivate me to do purple science next, or soon. Lastly is steel, which we've already got set up. Um, actually, can I do a drop down for this? Make sure it's exactly the same. Novus Orbit Steel. So right now there should be a launch occurring for steel. There it is. Fantastic. Uh, let's get some power down here. Substations are wholly insufficient with buildings of this size. We also need to extend the robo network all the way down here. I think we'll just start from here. It's actually a decent fit. Do I have some big poles? Surely I do. And where's our blue spider? Already loading in the steel. Um, we're going to need to put copper wire into the rail network as well if we want those productivity bonuses. Which we do because uh, apart from just being, shall we say, frugal, 
Uh, we are actually still having copper problems. That reminds me, are we still not getting the rough data? Rough data storage substrates. We've got 8.1 thousand. That is not a lot. How much does it take to make one? Only... Okay, it's four iron, so it's like three times as much iron after productivity bonuses. Rokitu, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And uh, I did thank for the sub, but uh, Miaten, thank you for the follow as well. Okay. Let's continue. Do I not have big power pot? Oh, there we go. Exactly how far does this need to be? This far? Can we get a... Roboport shaped... I think it's here, maybe? Nope, one tile up. Perfect. What? Why are we missing the scaffolding now? Hello? Did we run out of scaffolding? Not even close. Hacks that alert, alert scared me. Perfect. Spiders, uh, yes, okay. Um, why? Oh, it's the Robo Network thinks it's helping. Okay, then. Now, copy paste these two. We still don't have the scaffolding in place, really. Uh,. Give to me some scaffolding, please. Now the bots are arriving. Alright. I don't suppose this is gonna... Almost. I was hoping to make a little blueprint that I could copy from here, whereby... Well, I guess we can, actually. If I move all of this up one tile... And then bring it down here. I think those are going to be the maximum distance apart. Uh, let me just put the scaffolding down here myself. Oops. I can't tell if I'm in the air or not. Okay, pretty sure this is max distance. It is almost max distance. Move this up one tile again. And again, we're going to have very arbitrary bot ordering. It makes it take longer than it needs to. That's it. I actually did make this one tile too far apart now. Whoops. Perfect. And then whenever we want, we can blueprint. Can I blueprint this with the scaffolding? Yes, there we go. Okay. Except, minor detail. Of course, I forgot we need some big power poles in the middle. Fantastic. 
testing. All right. Another one down here somewhere. I actually can reach surprisingly far because of the diagonals. And then we need one here. And there we go. Okay. Uh, we should have at least 200 ammo here now. Fantastic. Let's go pick that up. And once we do... All of our problems will be solved forever. By which I mean we should go to Narvis and make a couple of rail blocks. Okay. What are we missing here? It says it's missing catalogs, but oh, it's it's having trouble outputting the thermo fluid again. Uh, so it's technically the whole thermo fluid network isn't full yet, but we're still having this problem. Um, I really haven't figured out how to prevent this yet. So... I think I should probably just have a pump here so that only this part gets full and... and we stop... we already stop putting thermo fluid from here into here if there's more th if this one's more than half full would a pump here make any difference at all i don't know that it would um all of these are active so they're turning 25 degree thermofluid into negative 10 as fast as possible. And we're not making more thermofluid. So why... Yeah, I'm thinking there should be like a one-way pump right here actually. Just so that when we add thermo fluid, uh, I don't know if it'll make any difference at all. Pump prevents backflow? Yeah. We can try it. Um, let's send... I think the spiders have pumps and stuff. Yeah, good. Let's send you back here to correct that, and hopefully that'll make a difference. Um, we'll also add some more thermo fluid storage as sort of a stopgap. That'll get the science flowing for now at least. Okay, uh, let's pick up our ammo, and I think as well take all of it while we're here, and I think we're ready to go back to Narvis. Um, is there anything else I want to do while I'm still here? I could pick up uh, some more 
biomass, but I'm pretty sure... You know what? There's no harm in it. Let's just do it. And we've actually got this thing full of packed cargo rocket sections, but no regular ones. Okay. Because there's no room, that's why. This cargo rock rocket section greater than or equal to 100. Cargo rocket section... There aren't any cargo rocket sections in here. So why is this disabled? Oh, it's backwards, that's why. Derp. Okay, can you stop for, mo for the moment? Cargo rocket section... Greater than or equal to 100. Yeah, I set those backwards. Little wonder. Where is this aimed at? Nervous, uh... Nervous landing pad. That makes sense. And you've got your space capsule. I didn't actually set a condition here to not jam it full of space capsules. Um, that was a little bit unintelligent. So, where do we have... We've got our cargo rocket sections being delivered one by one. I think we need to have a separate um, request a chest here for the space capsules. Except, uh, instead of basing that on anything in particular, I should just set these two to um, cargo rocket greater than one, uh, greater than zero. So the rocket has to be ready to launch before we put in the packed things. Or the extra space capsules. I think we might... I can't actually think of a clever way to not require yet another... Um... Uh... Actually, I'll set this to one. I want this to have a condition of cargo rocket is ready to launch or space capsules equals zero. Hmm. Not sure how to accomplish that, to be honest. I guess we'll just... What am I doing? Capsule. Capsule equals zero. Bugger rocket is ready to launch. And if only I could have this one set to be a higher priority. Make that a steel chest. That requests all of the capsules. And this has the same condition as this one. That'll have to do... Um... We good? Now we just need the bots uh, to bring all of the cargo rocket sections. Also, this one should probably have the same condition. 
All right. Rocket cargo section less than a hundred. Uh, for the regular cargo rocket sections, yes. All right, let's take some of these back. So our poor struggling bots don't lose their minds. Um, I'll just shove them in here directly. I guess if we really want to, we could unpack them, but not going to worry about that. I would say I'm not sure how we ended up with quite so many cargo rocket sections up here, but we have automated uh, quite a few quite a few rockets to come up here to deliver the goods. It's probably about time. Oh, I did make a rail section to make cargo rocket sections. I think we need to make another one to receive these from orbit so that we uh, prioritize picking those up. And the same goes for the space capsules, but that'll be in the same block. All right, we're finally ready to launch. All of these are packed and or space capsules. Fantastic. I think I will still leave it on manual launch trigger for now until we set up that block. Uh, I don't really see the point in carrying energy catalogs with me. I might just put those back where they belong for now. Which is way down here. That's looking shockingly full already. What the hell? Okay, at least you're bottlenecked on inputs as opposed to the output now. Alright, catalog goes here. Fantastic. We've already got our steel catalogs. This is for rail, this is for copper cable. I think we're ready. We did extend the re a robo network down there, right? Yes, good. And back we go. I kind of want to get rid of this old uh, base, not going to lie. Right then, into the rocket, now the landing pad, let's just double check that's empty since we're doing a manual launch, yes, yes it is, and away we go. That's going to keep us in... Uh, cargo rockets. I mean, we're already overflowing with cargo rocket sections here. I actually kind of need to do something about that. Uh, but here we go. The space capsules in particular, dropping them back into the rail network would 
thoroughly reduce the amount of rocket control units we're going to use in the long run. Um, let's see. Turn this on. Uh, did I set the requests for these? I did. Fantastic. I'll probably set that to 200 to infinite. And... Did we rebuild this? Maybe not all of it. It seems the trains are looking a bit stuck. Why are the trains stuck? Because the biters killed a locomotive. That's just rude. Okay, step one. Replace the locomotive. Actually, can I take my speedy spider? That's easier. Or locomotive. Uh, let's get our military spiders to arm up on rockets. And I guess we'll have the construction spiders do a bit of part-time military work up here. Just try and make sure we don't miss any more expansions. Oh, there's another one. Rude. Okay. Oh, we're not even halfway there yet. Wow. A super radar would be a really nice addition to the game. Spiked steel walls being produced at a decent rate would be nice too. Um, where are we making the spiked steel walls? The output is actually full. We've got a chest full of them, so why is it taking... Uh, maybe I just need to request more than 50 at a time. Question, how long have you been playing to save and how long have you been playing Factorio in total? Uh, not sure about Factorio. I don't have it on Steam or anything, but I've been playing it uh, most of the time. It's been out and just on and off for years. Uh, this save is quite old now. We're looking at 16 days, 14 hours. All right, do you still have your schedule? Yes. You're still full of oil, so go to, go to your temporary stop. And apparently you're missing fuel over here. Oh, this side doesn't have fuel. Okay. You shouldn't still have processed fuel. But here, have some rocket fuel. That should get the rest of these in motion. Um, I think I will go deal with those biter bases personally. And... Spider's got some shields, right? Oh, I forgot to swap out the shields again. Um, so that this spider would go fast. That would explain some of the transit time. Let's get the construction spiders to lend a hand as well. There's probably something I want to change over here also. Uh, where's our request for walls? Let's bump that up. And we should see a train coming to deliver walls. Oh, kind of hard to see which is which. Oh, there it is. Excellent. I forgot I'd automated 
steel walls here as well. That's good. In fact, I don't see where I automated steel walls. Maybe there just ended up being a lot of steel walls dumped here? It wouldn't be a bad idea to automate it there, in any case. That's a whole raid of biters. Are we good? Okay. Um, where do I need to be now? Not entirely sure. Uh, we definitely need to beef up these defenses. And we need to connect the light oil over here as well. Does this leave room for pipes to go through? Or should I do it at the side? It does. Actually, let's make sure we get the final version of this. So, yes and no. I think it'll be fine to do it this way. It'll block an accumulator or two, which is fine. We can probably... I was going to say we could probably move the pipes a little bit. That actually lines up perfectly, I'm pretty sure. So we only block one accumulator, that's fine. Uh, seems I actually don't have to go over there because we've already... Oh, I do need to drop off these passive providers. But yeah, we've already got bots in the network over here automatically. Cool. Time to queue up upgrading this to have everything except for... Um, artillery. I do not want them to destroy cliffs in order to build walls. Uh, maybe this is fine, though. Yeah, that part's okay. And we don't need a wall there. Right. Did we request everything we need here? Because I think... Um, I think I noticed something that I forgot. But I don't recall what it could be. I know I checked everything from the blueprint, but I think there was something tangential to that. I suppose not. I hope we've got everything here. Oh, I didn't give it any logistic bots yet. I definitely need to do that. We do have construction bots. But I haven't bothered to set up a system that'll automatically get the first logistic bot from the rail network. The logistic bots aren't super strictly necessary. Um, although, actually, they kind of are because stuff that's in the purple chests don't count as being in the logistic network. Cool. That should get built automatically. Construction spiders, you can probably go back home. 
Military spiders. I definitely want you around here somewhere. In fact, let's have you cover all of this ground again. Fine, they're going to get stuck over there, I think. Right. Something I wanted to check on in the orbital base. We've made another... I think we've just about doubled the number of bioscience packs we've made. Which is fantastic. But... Why is it not working now? Significant data, biological insight, catalog, genetic data. And that's gonna that's gonna be traced back to biosludge, I think. And there's no biomass on this belt. Hmm. There's like four biomass left over here, so I don't think... Maybe I should prioritize it. Oops. Very simple thing I can do already to prioritize it. Is just add some wire. What the... We're going to read belt contents hold, enable disable, um, what is it called? Biomass has to equal four. That alone is probably enough, but I would also like to set these two inserters. Uh, I don't suppose I can... no. Can't copy the condition from a belt. Biomass equals four. Wait, what? Oh, equals zero. That's... Okay. So there has to be four by... Uh, it also splits there. Let's priority split this to the left. Okay. And how far did we extend that robo network? We could probably maybe extend this out here so that we can take advantage. This this one's actually run out of biomass, uh, bio sludge. We stole all of it. We do have 1.6k genetic data here. Uh, that might help. Let's turn this into a passive provider. And I hope I left enough roboports up here to help with this whole mess. If we put this here... That's mechanical. This is bio. We need that to reach like there. Kind of hard to see. I could be wrong, that, but that might touch. Yeah, I think it will. Lines up like so. Give it some power. Give it some power, and then we just need one down here somewhere, like this probably. Uh, 
That should do it. Now, that actually consumes bio sludge. This thing spits out contaminated cosmic water. I don't think we get much bio sludge out of that, do we? We get a minuscule amount of contaminated bio sludge. Okay. At least we can take advantage of the genetic data that we've already saved up. Um, what about over here? Genetic data is going to make catalog. I don't think there's anything that produces even indirectly bio sludge after this point. So that's not going to get the loop started again, unfortunately. <sighs> so we've come back to not having enough bio sludge because we didn't prioritize the consumption of the biomass to make bio sludge. Unfortunate. I think I sent some some wood up there, didn't I? I think it's in here, yeah. Let's add a passive provider. Take the wood. Um, the recipe to make bio sludge out of wood requires a biochemical facility and cosmic water. Where can we put it? Same space, basically. In fact, I could probably just swap this recipe. Okay, let's put a request chest here. That's the only place I can put it, really. I also meant to put um, a request chest here. For the uh, genetic data. And I think just so I don't forget by the time I look at this again, let's set this recipe to bio sludge from wood. For the moment. I think this wall is actually ready. Um, do we have all of the steel walls? Yes. Cool. Now all we have to do is give it the final upgrade. The materials to build this should already be in place. And we already have some artillery shells delivered here as well, I think. There we go. That will summon the artillery train as well. Construction bots should be placing the... I thought we already had the cannons here. Um, I remember I was carrying like a million cannons for some reason, and I dropped them off here, I thought. Don't tell me I dropped them off at uh, this one. I don't think so. There's ten here, which is fine. I think that's what got delivered there automatically. And there's 80 in this network. The bots are just being lazy. There it goes. And 
away go the shells. That's going to cause an awful lot of biters to attack at about the same time. What's the range like? Not that much. That's the auto range anyway. We can get them to shoot further with manual aiming. Speaking of automatically destroying biters, um, still got a long way to go on this planet. But progress is being made. Actually, I'm surprised how few some of these have fired. I think we're missing some resources. Explosives? We haven't run out yet. Oh, it looks like... Oh, rocket control units. Yes, we are. Gates seem to be working okay. Um, I did forget to change the design here with the accumulators. Yeah, I think what we want to do is remove the front three so that they don't get destroyed. But then we have to change um, the settings on this latch. We don't have to change the settings on the gate, though. So, let's remove these. Actually, let's do a... a filter. Accumulator. And just make sure we get the three at the front. Same goes for this wall down here. And... I don't know, do we need to change the settings on this? I think so. Yeah, I think that's gonna... Click the power switches on when the accumulator gets slower, just during the night. Beautiful. Alright, so I don't think this wall is going to have too much trouble. Let's check on the orbital base. Did we get any wood here yet? No, because we didn't set the requests. Uh, not in logistic network, probably because I didn't set this filter yet. There we go. Don't know if that's going to be enough uh, to get the loop restarted. I guess if we're super duper prioritizing um, bringing it back to here, then it might be. Yeah, in fact, theoretically, we should just need enough to get one biomass going, right? Oh, what's the recipe? One biomass. Yeah, one biomass makes 30 bio sludge. And then... Uh, 10 bio sludge makes... One genetic data. 
No, it's the bio sludge that's needed over here. 50 bio sludge to make 10 bioculture. 10 bioculture. Makes 10 biomass. Okay, yeah. That should be all it takes. On the way, 12. And I think we can just put the... Genetic data here. I'll just set it to one. This is not a high priority. Um, I just want it to all get dropped in here eventually. Let's check on our wall again. Uh, radar seem. Oh no. Has the whole thing run out of power? I th think it has. Yeah, I think it got carried by the gun turrets and flamethrower turrets this time. Whoops. Probably doesn't help that now we've got the wrong settings on those um, latches now. So this should be 20%. Need to update the blueprint. One, two, three, four, five. Also, I think I figured out one of the things that I forgot to request from the train network. Five points if you've figured it out already. It is repair packs. Yes, indeed. Talem Grandmaster, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Repair pack two hundred. Fantastic. Um, they could also use. I could just connect them to the main power network. Um, yeah, I don't think we have to worry about doing the one way. Well, the priority power switches anymore. Just connecting those to the main power network should be sufficient. Alright, let's check on the orbital base. And it's that robo network is making it a lot easier to find... Uh... Products finished 853. 857. I don't think. I don't think this has actually finished that many products of bio sludge from wood. On the way, 68. So it's just the bots derping around up here. Also, okay, I'm going to have to leave this without supervision for a while, so I think what I'll do is just set this to a condition that's impossible. And hopefully when we come back, we should see biomass here, and we can switch this recipe over. Right then. Oh, look at those bots go. Uh, next we need to set up another wall up here. I should probably update that blueprint too. Um, 
let's find a space to do that. Like down here. Maybe harvest wood to deliver. I'm hoping the wood that's already up there is enough to get the loop started. Um, we only need... I'm pretty sure we only need a tiny amount. Uh, it's just that the bots are taking a while to bring it here. As soon as we get a few... Because we've super duper prioritized um, the biomass coming to this, this machine right here. Um... So it shouldn't take more than like a recipe or two to get the loop started. Here comes some more wood. And once, once that gets to 10. Oh, I think we've got a cargo size of 4 now. That's good. Where are our bots? Here it comes. I actually really want to see if this is... Like, just a recipe or two here is enough to get it going. It should be. Fantastic. And then... Good. So that'll give us 10 biomass, which should all go here. And then if we change this over to... Uh, bio sludge from biomass. That should do it. So I believe we can now set this to allow the biomass through here once it's saturated. And these two are only going to pick up if that piece of belt is saturated with biomass as well. What? Here we go. Fantastic. I could have also super prioritized this one so that we didn't almost have this problem right here. Nice. All right, so that should give us bioscience. I'm a little embarrassed I forgot this part to make the loop work, but in my defense, the whole thing is pretty complicated. Okay, back to Nervous, I suppose. And these two recipes, should I have them facing south? I think so. Um, I don't think I even need to build it. I just need to copy paste these settings. One, two, and that's actually it. So then we go... Oh, we need to get rid of these extra accumulators. I know it's a bit hard to see. But all I'm doing is updating the blueprints to a change that I made to the wall earlier. Select new contents. And go. So we've removed three accumulators here that get collateral damage from spit aimed at these two laser turrets. And we've changed the setting on this latch uh, to reflect the smaller max capacity for the accumulator. 
so that it doesn't just switch on all of these lasers during the night. Save blueprint. And then uh, the tier 3 version. Once again, remove the extra accumulators. And copy paste this bit. Hopefully that's not going to mess up the wires or anything. I don't think it is. Select new contents. Uh, the wiring looks the same, I believe. I hope. Why does it look like there's two wires coming from the power switch to this power pole? I am a little bit concerned. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it, if indeed. Actually, let's check. Oh, there is a wire coming up here. Okay, I th think that's probably fine? Question mark? Looks really weird. That should be it, though. Uh, I don't have a RoboPod right now. Do you prioritize genetic data into biomass chain? Yes. Uh, so, let's see. Well, sort of. It's actually kind of a 50-50 split because of these two inserters, but it just works. Um... I could set this up to prioritize, but obviously that's doing okay. So all we do is have 50% of the, well, assuming the belts are empty, 50% of the biomass, sorry, genetic data will go to each of these two belts. And over here, we've just got a little belt system that will prioritize consuming the genetic data that comes from this machine as opposed to this one because inserters will pick up from the nearest side of the belt first uh, and this inserter is trying to put things on what ends up being the far side um, there's kind of an implicit uh, prioritization system here So, without any combinators or circuit wiring or anything, uh, we're priority consuming. This machine is priority consuming these genetic data instead of this genetic data. Nice, thank you. As much as I love uh, combinators, I, I also really like when you can set something up that doesn't even require any of them. In fact, I've got a whole, or at least most of a blueprint book here. It, it's only the ones on the right here that use combinators. Uh, these train stations here, as long as you put, as long as you load cargo wagons evenly into the, these chests, uh, these inserters will actually unload evenly as well. All they do is read what's in their hands and read what's in this bit of belt right here and wait until it's empty before they pick up something again. So they all swing at the same time. Right then. We're seriously lacking laser turrets over here. Are you stuck or something? No. And you're currently bringing laser turrets. Okay, cool. What should we focus on now, I wonder? Um... I guess that means we can now queue up science that requires Bioscience 1. 
that one's not going to take long at all. Uh, some of these other ones, though. In fact, let's... Let's get these quick ones done first. Uh, I thought there would be more... Mining productivity is very attractive, but it's also very expensive. Um, but considering effects, it affects core mining drills, that's literally going to boost all of our throughput, just everything, pretty much. I should probably prioritize that. 7,500 bioscience, though. Uh, Black Op, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think we will do that quite soon, actually. Considering all the other options. Let's finish the range one, which uses material science packs anyway. And then after that, uh, if I can find it again, we'll do our mining productivity. This research, on the other hand, should not take long at all. 20%. 80%. Um, I think I will request way more rail than I normally can. Actually, let's get the construction spiders to do it. Oh, and I want to add some more construction spiders to the gang. Mostly just so they have more capacity. Cool. Let's get you to follow the leader. That's actually really handy. I should have thought of that first. Uh, sooner, rather. Using the navsat to make temporary Spidertron remotes just to get them to follow the leader without having to change the requests on that one. That did not take long for the bots to fill these trunks. Wow. Okay. Construction spiders up this way, please. If I send this rail up here, it's not going to collide with any mines that I want to build. What was that? Oh, it was just the sound of the spiders, wasn't it? Okay. And let's figure out where our walls are going to go. I keep forgetting if that's the nearest wall or the furthest one. I think it's the nearest one. Yeah. Okay. I'm not thrilled about that corner, though. Maybe we could build this here? Or even like this might be better. Yeah, that would be a lot stronger. Okay. So, let's put this here. And... Well, it's going to be a little bit onto the copper if I do that. Well, I think that'll be fine. I don't really care about that coal. And we don't have any places spiders can cross here. So we can just do... This. That should be okay. Right then. And how far does this stick in? 
We could do it that way. Get rid of this part. Oops. Nice. And then, can we copy what we did over here? Not really. Or well, maybe. Uh, no. No, we can't. Let's just have stations do something like this. And like this. Is that the same height? Yes. All right. Copy this. And copy this. I think I'll move that down a little bit since there's no cliff in the way this time. Put it in the usual spot. Um, don't forget to disable that train station for now. Alright, where are our construction spiders? Fantastic. Why are the spiders moving on that path? Uh, those are the military spiders. I'm making sure, I'm making absolutely sure there aren't any more spider bases in this area because we're going to wall it off. Okay. If I click spam the move, click spam rather, the moves up here, the spiders should build everything as they go. Every time they stop, the bots will jump out. Well, technically they stop, however briefly, whenever they reach one of these points. And there we go. That should get our wall started with uh, the trains having access to it. Didn't take long for the artillery to do its job over here. Nice. I like the idea of construction and military spiders. Nice. Uh, thank you. Yeah, construction spiders are great. They have so much... How have we still not got nuclear reactors here? I'm going to sort that out immediately. Uh, I'll take that. And where's my spider? Right here. Something just dropped the UPS. A lot. Oh, it's the spiders building. Once your rail network gets big enough, um, every time you add uh, signals, it it's going to pause the game a little bit. So unfortunately, it's getting a bit stuttery, for lack of a better word, while they're building this. Speed spider legs. Oh yeah. Thank you. Uh, let's get you some legs. And... I was supposed to... I was supposed to give him solar panels again, but I forgot to... I could make some. I feel like that'd be a little bit of a waste. Let's make sure I request them for when we get back. And I should get some roboports going. Okay. Where are we now? 
I'm really glad I discovered this little trick uh, to queue up the spiders to build in a big line like this. Just, uh, I just sort of stumbled upon it today, actually. Previously, I would have to move the spiders to where they're going to build a bunch of stuff, wait for them to build it all, and then move them back, uh, move them to the next spot, and so on and so on. Obviously, for a really long block of rail, that is going to take some time. We can now turn on this nuclear plant in three, two, one. Fantastic. Um, the inserters will put in as much fuel as they can the first time, but in future, they're only going to put in one or two. Uh, units once the steam gets low enough. Right. If we were having any power problems, we're probably not going to now. Let's get back to base and sort out our legs. Uh, we do have a lot of battery for now, so let's put in all of the legs already. And we're going to switch our speedy spider over to just running on solar once we get back. I am seeing biocytes moving along consistently. Fantastic. How much have we got biosludge? 6.2 thousand. Fantastic. And as if we couldn't tell from the consistent flow of um, uh, biomass, that is working nicely. Although we're sort of super prioritizing biochemical data, but I think that's fine. We'll just let that back up and then it'll flow to the other types. Sorry, missed it. Was that the building trick? Is it no legs so they go slower than the robots? Oh, no, the, um... I forget if the construction spiders have legs or not. Uh, ex they don't have exoskeleton legs. Uh, that might quote-unquote help, but the real trick was... I'll do it now, actually. Um, if you just... Give them a bunch of move orders like this. Uh, particularly when you're doing something like rail, where the bots don't have to fly far each time. Um, the bots will keep jumping out every time they reach a point like this. And for some reason, the Spidertrons following seem to do the same thing. Even if they're not completely caught up. Yeah, my supposition is um, the bots like reevaluate every time they reach a point. Like if I do it like this, we should see everything around. Well, a bunch of stuff around here get built. A bunch of stuff around here get built. There should be a. Actually, let's try it like this to be sure. So we should see roughly a square of construction around here, although they won't have a whole lot of time to do it. And we should see a square of construction around here, and there should be a gap here. Although they seem to be making liars out of me right now. Interesting. I think it might be a bit different for the spiders that are following. Huh. Well then. Make a liar out of me. They actually managed to build just about everything, or at least everything they were carrying, as they went. Not bad. 
Uh, we will need to make sure we connect power and pipes over here and robo networks that is literally a perfect fit wow those are all max distance pipes uh what about the robo networks they're not quite reaching i don't suppose we could get a single power pole to cross that gap not even close. Uh, what about substations? Yeah, we could do this. That seems fine to me. What are these bots doing? Oh, I think they're confused because there's no power to here. Maybe? I wish you could see... Is there a way with debug to see which network this bot belongs to? If I remove this... No. I am confusion. Just need enough Spidertrons, I guess. I've definitely seen them not build until they stop before, so this is confusing. Oh, they're all trying to build something. Okay, these two seem to be exactly where we built those big power poles. These two are over the pipes. These six of them. That's really weird. I might have to go there myself in order to uh, rescue those bots. There's some multicolored chests that the Spidertrons don't carry as well. Maybe I should get them to carry them. I was going to say we probably still have some more trunk space, but hard to say after they just built a bunch of stuff and picked up a bunch of stone. Uh, so, where are my solar panels? There we go. Grid goes here. Um, solar panels, get out of here. And let's go finish what we start. Spider's RoboPorts is out of power, I guess? Um, I think we would have seen more of that than just like six of them hovering. And they would have been hovering around the spiders. Oh, as predicted, the military spiders got stuck over here. Alright. Last little troll through this area to make absolutely sure... Um, that we've cleared the biters out of this section. There's a bunch of bots over here as well. Curious. Oh, I think it's because we have no storage. Yeah, that's why. So once I get there, that'll be sorted out. Uh, we seem to still be having power issues over here. Oh, that's still set to 80. Whoops. Um, 20. Uh, actually, I should be able to fix it by... Okay, I don't want to kill the cliffs. So we'll go this far, I think. And just double check. That's now 20, good. And we'll do the rest of these with a little copy-paste action. Uh, 
That should be all of them. Fantastic. And we should see these, uh... God damn it. No matter how careful I am with this, um... We often end up with unwanted wire connections, if it's at all possible. That's not going to help with the power management stuff. Luckily this wall isn't that long. I should double check that that blueprint doesn't have... this included. I don't think it does. Is that it? Yeah, that's looking better. Alright, blueprint. That looks correct to me. Tier 3 looks correct. Tier 1 doesn't even have the possibility. Did we get those bots moving? Uh... What? What? Where are you going? No. I won't allow it. You're not going to slowly fly across the entire planet. As for you, I don't know why you're still stuck. Oh, is this Robo Network connected? It definitely is. No, what are you do- I give up. I th I suspect I know the answer now, actually. Um, I think there was not enough room in the Spidertrons that they were trying to get back into. I think that's what that was. We need to add at least one logistic bot to here manually in order to get it started. It is possible to set up a smarter system that doesn't need that, but honestly it's not really worth the trouble. And most importantly... Uh, that's an awkward fit. It's a very awkward fit, actually. Not like we could do it elsewhere. Okay. There we go. Light oil may already be on the way. I don't think it is. But it will be. Uh, let's not forget our passive providers. Uh, that's for the artillery train though, so... We don't really want to summon that until we're all beefed up. really don't need that many signals over here. Okay. And strictly speaking, the roundabout probably isn't necessary either. It's fine. There is a lot of resupply of the construction spiders happening right now. We need to set up a rail block. Well, a rail rail block. Let's see. Stone, steel, and iron stick. Um, pretty much close to this stone mine and close to smelters is makes as much sense as anywhere else. Let's get rid of this old rail here. 
I should probably also add another um, depot, just so that we can have trains not have to travel as far to start a pickup from over here. Seems like a good idea. So let's see, where have I put my depot design? 18 stop L C C C C L. I think we'll put it here maybe? Here might be... Nah, that's fine. I think here is probably the way to go. And we also need a rail block right about here. Let's do a few more. Are we going to get stuck here? No, nope, we're good. Has artillery shell range been stuck on 40% for a while, or is it just slow? What are we waiting on here? Material science pack. I'm not seeing any on the belts. Uh-oh. Um... I thought I... fixed this. Or was that for another bit of science? We are super prioritizing consuming the blank data cards that come from here before what comes from up here. Still not seeing any rough data storage substrates. That's a bit of a worry. And it's still because iron plate. That is um, kind of surprising, to be honest. I never did upgrade those inserters. Let's do that now. That alone is going to get us more iron throughput. Uh, I don't think there's another iron mine that we haven't tapped yet, unless there's one in this area. I need to get the construction spiders to go pick up their wayward bots. Let's start over here. I suppose I could set up temporary iron mines on other planets. That is a big hassle, though. I would much rather do that after getting past cargo rockets and not having to deal with the sections and capsules that get recycled. Um, but I don't see anywhere relatively convenient to pick up more iron. We do have an infinite supply, it will eventually sort itself out, but um, it's not that fast. And let's update this a little bit. Each divided by negative 24, output each. Everything less than or equal to 12. And that will do pretty much a balanced load, but the inserters are allowed to be a stack ahead. Or rather, each chest is allowed to be a stack ahead. Are you core mining? Yes. We have 64 core mining drills over here, actually. Um, that alone gives us 135 core fragments per second. Um, 
we also get a bunch of core fragments from other planets, which gets broken down into a few regular core fragments, among other things. Is there such a thing as... No, I think I checked already. Core fragment... Cryonite... Iron ore. There is such a thing. Copper ore. I don't think we've found any of those yet. We've got... Uh, what is that? Crude oil. Why does that one look different? Oh, Nalvis. Okay. Uh, crude oil. Calidus Asteroid Belt 2. I don't think we get core fragments out of that, but there is going to be quite a lot of iron. Although it'll be a big nuisance to get it back to where we need it. That's 53 million right there. Uh, J555, J555, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We need to go to another um, solar system to get beryl core fragments. We've got cryonite. Uh, we've got holmanite. We've got iridite. We've got vitamelange. We've got vulcanite. Uh, we haven't core mined for stone just yet. And we've got, I think, two planets giving us uranium core fragments, because that's pretty difficult to get a decent supply. Um, how much have we got here? 10k. I don't think... I don't think this is bottlenecked on only sending one train at a time. But just in case... All right, let's continue building this. Um, and let's get our construction spiders to pick up their bots a little bit faster if we can. So slow. Come on, you can do it. There you go. Won't they block each other if they wait close to the pickup? Uh, no. The rail network that I've got has plenty of spaces for a train to wait. Um, that's not going to be in the way of other trains, basically. Especially since there's only one destination over in this direction. How do you determine if bottleneck is the amount of trains? Um, since the station... It's, a, it's just an estimate, um, but since the station is relatively remote, and I just upgraded it so that we're not bottlenecking on fast inserters, uh, the max rate at this stage of this mine is more than four blue belts. Um, so we're going to get 180 ore per second coming in here. Um... I don't think... That's actually going to take less than a minute. Wait, did I... Math that wrong? 180 per second. So this is 44 seconds. Yeah, it's only 44 seconds to get a train load of iron ore here. So... In fact, we've currently got 17,000. Um, I don't think we're getting a train here every 44 seconds. I don't know if we can load a train in 44 seconds. Not unless we put this on the other side. Oh, we can definitely load it in 44 seconds. So I think it might even do to allow three trains to be queued up to pick this up. Uh, 
Uh, might be good to have another train depot over here, even. But for now, let's continue what we're doing over here. I'll go pick up uh, all of this rail. It's not going to be a whole lot, but it's one less trip. Actually, while we're waiting on that, let's bring our supply train, which is turned around the wrong way. I'm not going to bother to fix it just yet, because all, we're, all I'm looking for is the rail. Uh, let's put it down here. And get rid of all this old rail. That is a lot, isn't it? Okay. Well, that happened a little faster than I was prepared for. I forgot it's the speedy spider. Left a few bots behind. Do I not have... Let's do a few more roboports so I have more range. Once they charge it should beef up a bit. Or that's already the robot range. Total amount of trains in network? Um, I don't remember. 87. Or is that 97? Yeah, it's a few. Okay. Artillery shell range is still stuck at... Oh, that's right. Because I didn't fix this yet. Um, we are priority consuming the blank data cards to come this way. However, it's not enough. Maybe I could... It's kind of a nuisance, but I could probably move them all the way back to um, close to the origin point of the blank data cards, so they get consumed by all of the sciences. Is that going to work? Yep. Uh, how about here? That should do it. And let's get our spiders. You should already have some belt on them. Uh, to get started on that. I chucked them on the trash belt and filtered them off at the top with priority. I suppose you could do that. Should have done that sooner. That was easier to fix than I thought it would be. We should probably do the same thing here. Uh, where was it? This. Uh, 
we're reading this belt and... Data card equals zero. Wait, what? Read belt contents hold. This is set to blank data... Recipe blank data card. Oh, I see. There we go. That'll help to prioritize consumption of the... Well, not even help. This is... Oh, this is blank data cards from the broken ones, not... Okay, good. It has the same... This is the same belt. This is, uh... From the data storage substrates. Why not just use the input priority of the splitters? I've already done that. Um, but also... I just want to be absolutely sure. Oh, I mean, I did that in a different spot. I suppose if we input priority... That would still have a lot of this flowing through while there's stuff on this part of the belt here, even if it's not here. This is just a bit stricter, basically. Alright, so that should get us some, uh, some data flowing again here. Tensile strength data. We're missing material testing packs, which I think we need iron. Yep. Oh, what's the problem? Stone. Stone of all things. Uh, where's our stone? We did have stone on the bus, right? That's coal. Yeah, stone. Well, I did add a couple of stone mines. Um, not a whole lot else I can do for now. We do have a train coming to pick up this stone here. Not that one. That one's a different stone mine. This one doesn't have a path because there's a little bit of rail missing. Luckily, our construction spiders are nearby and they've finished picking up their bots. So that's an easy fix. As soon as they get here, that train should be in motion. Uh, as for me, I'll pick up this rail here. We've got our supply train down this way. So where is this... Uh, that's the asteroid belt. So we actually haven't found a planet that can give us iron ore fragments or copper. I'm actually tempted to bother to go threat a hundred percent. Jeez. And it's a huge planet. That sounds like an absolute nightmare. Um, I don't suppose there's islands? Temperate, waterless, desert, treeless, earthy canyons. I do not think that means there are islands that we can hide on. So it's a huge planet with a 100% bite of threat and no islands, no water. Uh, as much as I would love to... Uh, to be getting stone from there, since we're actually bottlenecked on stone. That sounds hardly worth the time. And there's our stone pickup. Fantastic. Okay. 
How's our wall looking up here? Oh. That's suboptimal. Probably has something to do with the fact that this isn't actually connected to here. Can we get a robot that's in this network to place that? I think all the construction bots are still trying to recharge, which isn't going to happen because the inserters are stealing. Okay, let's get the construction spiders up here. And as for the military spiders, probably good to get them onto another front where everything is polluted. Uh, let's pick up some more rail. Actually, it would be better to upgrade this to use artillery, wouldn't it? Missing the red chests. I didn't get around to checking if the construction spiders have room. Theoretically. Yeah, I think we can add requests for the multicolored chests for the construction spiders. Okay. Copy all of those. I honestly can't be bothered with the leader for now. Oh, did we get it? No? No. Okay, once we get that substation, we start unloading this at a reasonable pace. And this whole thing will self-build a lot faster. By which I mean at all. And then we'll send the construction spiders back to get their multicolored chests. And I wouldn't have to be thinking, why didn't I drag myself over here personally? Are we requesting red chests here? We are not. That's all the rail we brought. Okay, then. Uh, this is not great. Hmm, I might cheat a little bit and switch over to my other... That's got no battery charge either. Rip. Also, I accidentally brought a lot of ammo with me over here. Railgun ammo. Did we drop all of these? We did. Fantastic. And that substation right there is the end of the construction spiders needing to be up there. Let's make sure they don't leave any bots behind. Good. Um, I don't think they need to resupply this time. Let's bring them straight down here. And then... Greenish liquid. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
Uh, let's see how our material science is doing. By the sound of it, it's doing quite well. Although we're probably going to be consuming a backlog of um, blank data cards as we slowly run out because we've got no polished coming in. Should probably also... Oh, I did. Yep, that's fine. We're super bottlenecking on my portable RTGs building this. You can see a lot more bot activity building this stuff over here now. Um, I think there's no reason not to... Wait, how often did we put the radars here? One... One, two, three, four-ish. Oh, we can see it on the mini-map, even via the map view. Okay. Put this one here. And then... I can't actually see where this is supposed to go until we place the next one, but I think that's about right. Do we have radars here yet? We do not. Did we request them? We did. We've got oil. Let's check up here. Fantastic. Why do you have so little radars? Um, partly because I can use the nav satellite to just see where I want to, but I actually do have quite a lot of radars everywhere. I just forgot to place them up here earlier. Um, let's cancel those. We don't want to destroy a bit of cliff to build that. And this one is unpowered. Let's fix that. Construction spiders are still quite a distance away. Oh. Did we do it? Nope. So I need to do rail and um, up a cable so that we can make space rail. We're going to aim this at Nervous Orbit up a cable. Launch trigger, cargo full. Nervous orbit rail, launch trigger, cargo full. Uh, this station here is going to request rail. And we know rail stacks to 100. So. Sixteen K. Actually, we should do like five hundred stacks, fifty thousand. And the next one is copper cable, which I normally wouldn't do. 
because it doesn't stack. Well, the, the way it gets consumed... Um, It's like the opposite of turning iron into gear wheels. Uh, one copper cable becomes two copper... One copper plate becomes two copper cable, but the stack size changes from 100 to 200, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, except that often, because it gets consumed so quickly, you want to direct insert it anyway. But in this instance... Um, we want to make sure we get the productivity bonus, and we're sending it directly to the cargo landing pad. And this is rail. Requesto. Fantastic. So that should be all that's required there. Now we just need to... Oh, we actually finished building a bunch of this stuff. Still really low on energy, but the fact that the batteries are charged at all... A Salford cell. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How was your stream today? Welcome, raiders. How y'all doing? Um, so, let's get those undergrounds over here. That's probably overkill. We are here to pollinate and wiggle our butts. Fair enough. Get 13.8. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Stream was great, thanks. Fantastic. Construction spiders are finally making their way down here. And that'll get our new rail block finished pretty quickly. Artillery shell range has finally crept up to 41%. Uh, Snurt, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And let's see. I think we've got everything sorted for our new wall. Time to upgrade it. Give it the tier 2 treatment. Um, let's not delete cliffs for the sake of walls. The rest is fine. And once that's finished, we'll add artillery to it. Fantastic. We have a bee in our bonnet about it. Going medieval now has bees? Chat has a bit of a thing for a bee cult. Interesting. Look at those butts fly. Fantastic. Uh, I don't think I'm needed here right now. Let's go get my inventory sorted out again. Probably shouldn't have stolen all those express underground belts, but it'll get sorted. Oh, and we're already using this, uh, uh, this new depot. Fantastic. To be or not to be? What kind of question is this? Yes, indeed. Let's see. I don't think there's anything missing from here. That's good. Let's make sure we get the signals on the side and stuff. And watch our UPS tank as that happens. What's the Factorio's bees? Yeah, they're good little worker bees.
Okay. So this is where I wanted to do a production block for rail itself. We'll start with the input. Construction spiders can reach everything from the middle, I think. Yes, pretty much. Okay. First things first. Chain signal goes out. Regular signal comes in. We can copy, rotate that to do the right thing over here. And then... Logistic train stop goes here and here. I think they're waiting on the bots to get back. Is a giant spider a mod or vanilla? It's vanilla. Meowning, Sydney uh, Kensen von Ice Tea. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Are they not carrying logistic train stops? They are. What's going on here? Oh, they were just being weird. Okay. Awake too early, but okay. Fair enough. It got added to vanilla in 1.0. Sounds about right. Uh, Death13A and Puffycat, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so let's see. For rail, we require iron, steel, and stone in equal amounts. I think iron becomes two iron stick even without productivity modules, doesn't it? Uh, yes. So I think In terms of what the throughput is, what, what the stations are going to look like. I don't think we can really... We could do two belts of each. We can't really split it up more evenly than that, I think. Uh, Jitterbug, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So let's start with... Tentatively. Oh, I'm already sorted out with my logistic requests. Fantastic. Let's get rid of that extra railgun ammo first. And I will head over there personally. It is a little bit easier to design that way. Construction spiders are still being a little bit odd here. Um, I vaguely remember a rail build that I really liked, but I never blueprinted it. Let's start with this. And let's suppose... We do stone and steel on this side. This delay from the bots is getting a bit weird. Let's do steel over here. And stone. Up this way. Fantastic. I heard some bees and spider things, and my short wired brain just goes, I have friends who understand me. Their names are Spider Beetle Bee. They don't say much, but they've always listened to me. That sounds lovely. Uh, okay. So, here we have a combinatorless balanced unload system. Uh, as long as you put things in even, they're going to get emptied even. We just read the hand contents of the inserters. And 
uh, also these bits of belt. And we enable only when all of that is empty. We're going to... wait, where am I? Okay. Actually, I need to decide yet whether I'm going to have these share a belt to begin with. But this part's still going to be the same. Uh, let's start with the usual layout. And figure out how many of these we're going to fit. I think when it comes to rail... There's no way we're going to use up all of the space here. The bottleneck is going to be input. Uh, for rate calculator to work, this needs power. So one of these blocks alone requires 52 per second for each input. Okay. I don't suppose if we multiply that out some number, we get close to a number of blue belts. Not even close. Okay then. Also, if we're gonna have... Well, okay, for one half of it, what are we looking at? Slightly more than one half belt each. Uh, if we do... If we do two of them, that's more than a full blue belt. 6 is 39. That's unfortunate. I guess we could put some efficiency modules in to make more use of the belts. 48 per second. 44 per second. I like that. And slightly less than two full belts of output already. Uh, I think this is going to be one of those builds where there's no way we can use all the space, so we're going to end up doing uh, a mirrored half rail block with the output in the middle. I just got here. What is T-Hex working on? Uh, I think it's entirely vanilla, this part. We need... In the rail block system, we need to uh, spit out rail. We need it for purple science, and we need it for... Uh, let's see. Space rail. I'm going to put it in the rail network, shove it into a rocket, and send it straight up here. Copper, ca uh, copper cable and rail. Those probably need to be upgraded. Also, how did we get a lone spider sitting here? Not that it doesn't look cool perching atop of the uh, space manufacturing. Have to sort that out later. Um, I also forgot to put modules in these. We can't use productivities, so... This is going to consume... What, what happens if we go full speed ahead? 84 per second each. That is and near, uh, approaching two belts of input for each of these and four belts of output for rail. That is a lot. I don't know that we can actually manage that. Um, let's see. If we... Just one of these machines. 21 per second. That's like maybe four stack inserters. Yeah, I don't think... Uh, I don't think we'll be doing that. What if we efficiency the hell out of this? Now we're down to 104 out. 52 in. Do you have your mod list somewhere? Absolutely. There you go. Thank you, just start. And, uh... Black up. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
We also need a block to do um, the iron rods first, but that's going to be pretty straightforward. Actually, I should have done this first. I do have module inserter, but this is a bit quicker this time. Okay, how fast is this? 95 per second. It does take 8 to saturate 2 belts, so I'm satisfied with that. Less than 1 blue belt input. So I think we'll do the input in the middle for this one. Um, like so. How much does it require per machine? Wait, what? Oh, I must have... I must have highlighted that before the beacon was measured or something. Stack in, two stacks out. Okay. And one of these is... That's only 23.5 is half a belt, so... We're going to bottleneck on half a belt for these two. So why don't we do it like this? And... I think we need a splitter to do this in a way that's compact enough. Not quite, but I would prefer to use a splitter. Uh, this goes here. And... Like so. And just copy, paste, flip. Right, so that gives us two blue belts of iron stick. Very easy. Very straightforward. And this consumes... We can't use prods here. We're, we're gonna have to underdo it speed-wise. Actually, okay, how fast would it be with full speed? 84 per second. That's actually good if only we can if only we can shape the belts and inserters to satisfy it, which I don't think we can. Maybe if we did some direct insertion? I don't think so. It's not like... well, this is almost... This kind of has to be one-to-one -one for the iron sticks to rail. So what if, instead of like this... Hmm. We would need some chests in the middle so that we still get the extra speed from proper stack inserters. The output of this is 11 per second. I'm not sure if we... With a stack size of 10, instantly picking up the stack, rotation speed 864 per second is more than two swings per second. I'm pretty sure one stack inserter will be enough if this is direct inserted or direct to a chest and then direct to the rail. I might just limit these chests though. So then the question is, can we supply... We could definitely supply one blue belt of iron rods here. And I think that would keep up. Considering this will be net positive with iron stick, 
uh, if we were fully satisfying the iron plate. Let's see. We only need 42 per second. Oh, that's the answer. We only need 42 per second here. So if we bottleneck on a belt of 45 per second uh, to make 45 per second rod. Wait, what am I saying? We're going to have the iron plate coming in instead of rods here. We don't need this part if we're going to do it this way. So we can easily have the iron plate input satisfied. All right, that's good. Uh, what about steel and stone? 42 per second. So we might have to separate these a little bit because, well, no, that's not going to work, is it? I was thinking we might have to have the output belt squeeze through here. But we can't exactly do that, I don't think. Actually, yes, we can. Okay, so far so good. Except we're going to have 21 per second coming out. A stack insert is not going to keep up with that. Especially dropping onto a belt. It slows it down a little bit. I don't think we can pull this off. Um, not going full speed anyway. We need just a bit less than one full blue belt input for both stone and steel down here. So the way I usually do that is like this, which leaves the question of where the output's going to go, but also the stack inserters are definitely not going to keep up. Middle one can be bad, f can be input for steel or stone. Uh, I suppose it could. But yeah, the Everything's going to bottleneck on the stack inserters. I think we're going to just have to use more efficiency here this time. Uh, so, what does it take for the stack inserters to keep up? Six per second, those stacks will be fine. Wait, what? Oh, it changes the... That's interesting. Yeah, the relative speed of the rail actually goes up if we do this. So I guess the efficiency modules should go in here. Or maybe a bit of both. Because we're now losing iron rods. Okay. Maybe we'll do this full speed, and... Well, what happens if we... How much efficiency does it take to make this not even really consume power? Uh, minus 80% limit. Plus 20%. Oh. So that's actually what it takes to minimize consumption from this. That's obviously gonna be way more iron stick than we need. Iron plate, I mean, sorry, stone and steel input is now kind of slow. Um, 6.5 per second is not that slow. And 13 per second out is not that slow. 
we would still be bottlenecking on the stack inserters. That's kind of wild. Um, I can't really... 13 per second out. Maybe we just mostly don't bother with beacons this time. Since rail just gets produced that quickly. So what if... What if we have 90 per second iron stick coming in, and we use regular old um, assembly machines? That can support 36 machines. That's kind of a lot. What's this individual speed here? 5 per second out, that's like a stack inserter and very little in. I kind of want to try to have double that. Um, speed plus 40%. What if we... Crafting speed plus 160%, that's not what I'm looking for. Plus 100%, okay, perfect. 5 per second in, 10 per second out. And... How do we do the inputs? So we could maybe... Efficiency like this. Max consumption, 536 kilowatts. Seventy five. Seventy five. Seventy five. Okay. Right then. How many of these would it take to consume? Oh, that's a very nice, clean 18. That means three beacon sets, assuming that we can fit all the belts around it. So, how do we do the inputs? Um, We could maybe do them a bit further apart here. Hold on. Uh, if we multiply this out until we can... Why is this 80? I thought it... Would... Oh, that's right. How many took... How many did it take to do 90? 18. That's 3 times 6 as opposed to a multiple of 8. Top. We're going to need 3 beacons regardless, so maybe we'll do it like this. Um, just one side of this does 30 per second out. I guess we could... Do it like this. Should be balanced. 15 per second in for each, which means we could share a belt as long as we do it again on the other side. We can't really get 15 in per second if we use long arms over here, right? 
maybe we can somehow have one input and two outputs for these. Yeah. I don't see any need so far for this not to be up here. Oh, I literally just... There we go. Now the only question is the best way to put things on the right side of the belt. So that can be one input belt and... Might have to have this all the way out here. And then... Uh, I think for the other input, it's actually really straightforward. It's just a belt, right? Get some power down here. 15 per second in for each thing. Is a stack insert with a stack size of 10 pointed at rail, uh, sorry, pointed at belt, going to do 15 per second? I don't think it is, is it? If we do it like this, there's room for three. I'm sure that's going to be enough. Yeah. And then... And then we need to somehow... Does this have to be like this? I don't think so. Input. Two outputs. Like that. For all the space that I'm ending up using with the belts, it's fine. Okay. So that gives us 30 per second. Uh, we need to do this three times though. This goes here. I don't think we can do... I don't think we can make it more compact. So that will require let's do this three times. Wait a sec. Oh, that's too close actually. Because of the way beacons work in space exploration. I need to move this down a couple of times. Like so. And then. I think we ran out of efficiency modules. No, we didn't. Okay. So this is 90 per second for each input. Uh, one, two... Belts for each input, put two of the inputs here, one belt for iron sticks over here, looking good. Um, yeah, I think that's basically going to be it, and then it's just a question of... If we only need one belt of input for iron out of all this, but we need two belts for the others, we could do 180 for these two resources, and a couple of belts of iron, and we could do this twice. 
I don't think it's going to get much better than that. And then the question is whether we can fit... Oh, I actually do want to put the steel and stone on shared belts as well. So let's start figuring that part out. Um, the way this is going to look is... Like so. We need to set these for specific resources. When steel is equal to zero, you can pick up the next one. When stone is equal to zero, same thing. And then... Um, the only trouble with this is... If I'm going to double this... Oh, we need power. Testing. Just double check again. If I double this, we're going to need... Wait, what? Yeah, 180 stone and 180 steel per second. Um, that is four blue belts. I do have a design that will keep that going consistently with a balanced unload, but it doesn't do the shared belt thing. What is there a way to use that? I might just have to have the separate stations. I don't think there's room to do it that way. Okay, if... Yeah, I think what I'm going to have to do is steel here, stone here, and iron up there. We can do 90 per second. Uh, that's not going to be difficult. And since we've got quite a bit of room left, and we're definitely going to have to We're definitely going to have to use a bunch of space for belts. Wait, how much output is this? That is four blue belts of rail already. I don't know how easily I'm going to be able to fit... If we try to support eight blue belts of rail... Um, we're basically going to need two train stations for output if we do that. And that means taking up more space. Each of these would have to point to one train station. Uh, that might be fine. Also, I need to merge this properly. Um, probably just like that is okay. Or no. Not at all. This is 90 per second. So, I think it's going to have to look like this, by which I mean like this. Hold on. These two are merging into one belt. That won't work. That'll do it. Well, we don't need two belts here. That's fine. Alright, let's just delete this side so we don't make a mistake. And... like so. Can I make two of these? Point them at different rail blocks, uh, different train stations for output. 
Whoops. That's wrong. Let's get this tree out of the way. There we go. Undergrounds for input need fixing. Undergrounds for input. Oh, like, uh, like this. Good call, thank you. All right. Flip that around. And basically this will go here. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have that much trouble, actually. The input is going to be more of a problem. And we obviously have room to move this down a bit. I'm sure we could get a bit more efficient than that, even. So, if we're going to attempt to have... Uh, let's just double-check this again. Why does that say 75? There we go. If we're going to attempt to have 180 stone and 180 steel coming in per second, we're going to have to have a big ol' That might be better, actually, because it turns, so we won't have to use the combinators. So let's see if we can point them at each other. Right, 180 degree, uh, degrees? 180 per second. Something's not right here. Oh, I see. I need to get rid of that. In fact, I'll just make doubly sure that we're not messing this up with the wiring that was already there. And there should be room... Why is that? Oh, that's just a random bit of stone. Except we're not trying to make four belts, we're trying to make eight. This could be rather difficult. I think I've done it before, though. Um, we need each of these to split into two. is pretty tricky, but oh, that's fine. That's not right. And then same thing over here, except I don't think it's going to be that easy. There's definitely not room here. Even if you could do it that tight. Okay. We still have plenty of vertical clearance, so why don't we use this version? And then... One, two... Four, five, six, seven, eight. I 
think we'll have plenty of room to do this here. Probably. So it needs to look something like this. Needs room for an output. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Easy enough. That's going to go here. And so on. That doesn't feel right. Hmm, this would look slightly better, I think. And we're at that distance where it's kind of awkward as to whether it looks better or not with underground belts. Just for consistency, let's do this. Okay. And don't forget to put this here. Fantastic. Wait, what am I... Okay. On this side... That looks like that. And I guess we don't actually need undergrounds for this. But... Wait, yes we do. Um... Feels a little weird if the undergrounds are all on the one side. That's not right. No, we definitely need undergrounds. But, like I said... I think we will do it this way. Okay, I think this is more in the center. These will still reach. Uh, this is fine. And then we'll do basically the same thing here. That should be okay. And then we've got our eight belts. Hold on. We need... Huh? One, two, three, four belts. Yeah. This requires a full belt of stone, a full belt of steel. So we need... This isn't actually going to work anymore for the input. I don't suppose it's possible to position this beacon so that... We could bring a belt down here and merge it 
right where it's needed. Doesn't look like it. Mm. That's a problem. When I was uh, multiplying this down this way, I was only looking at how much iron stick we needed, really. How... This is as far out as the beacon can go. Oh, I know what we can do. It's pretty obvious, actually. So, how many on each side? Nine. It had to be an odd number. Um, in the middle one, we'll do this. And for these ones, we'll come from the bottom. And I don't know what that's going to result in when it comes to the shared belts. If we actually do need three stack inserters to keep up with... Oh, it... oh good, I made a mistake earlier that's actually helping me now. So we only need five per second for stone and steel input, which means... We don't need as many inserters as this. We can definitely do five per second uh, with a stack inserter off of a belt. Whoops. That should be it. So, yeah. One, two, three, four blue belts of input. And we need Two belts of stone, two belts of steel. Save merger into blueprint library. It's handy for future. Uh, which merger? Oh, this big one? Maybe. Now, should I... Yeah, I would have had the belt go down and just go this way, but it's going to be a problem on one side, I think. Actually, maybe we can move this one here. That works. Which means we should be able to have this go down here. Match this way. And this can actually continue to point down this way. Which means we can have all four of our belts come in like this. One, two, three. We need one more. Let's move all of that up just one more tile. Easy enough. Don't need prod or further speed modules. Yeah, the reason we're using efficiency is uh, literally we can't get belts and inserters that we can keep up if we use more speed modules here. Uh, this block is going to spit out four saturated blue belts of rail. And it needs uh, two belts of stone, two belts of steel, and two belts of iron stick. Um, just to keep up. So basically, with with nothing but speed modules, the... the uh, uh, the machines are actually too fast. Right then. So this just goes down here. Um, I'm just going to grab some undergrounds. I think I... Oh, the train's not here anymore. Whoops. Do we have fuel here? We do not have fuel here. That is concerning. Um... Let me just check 
rocket fuel. We have 11,000. This is full. What's going on? We... Oh, I forgot to set this up so that small trains can pick it up. And after going to the trouble of putting that logic there so that it would make sure this is balanced enough as well. Okay, so I need to copy that over here as well. And I think there's a couple of... there's more than a couple. Of, uh... Oil blocks over here also that are all completely full. So we should see. No? Oh, that would probably help as well. Makes me wonder if there was somewhere else the small trains pick up solid fuel. That's fine. These are no normal? Uh, vanilla. These are vanilla train stops that just pick up the trash. So I don't need to do anything with those. Alright, sol solid rocket fuel is on its way. I'm a bit concerned that we don't have nuclear fuel. Oh, we do. And you're actually going there. Okay, good. The trains will consume nuclear fuel as a priority. Solid rocket fuel is a backup. That's actually a perfect fit. And... Depending on how this looks... That's fine. Okay. Oops. Oops, whoops. And we should be able to do the other side pretty much perfectly symmetrical. Um I haven't done the iron plate whoops. The iron plate station, but that's going to be pretty straightforward. We can do two belts of output, either here or here, whichever's easiest. Probably not easiest to do that output in the middle. So let's get rid of this for now. And we're going to want uh, right side, because this is upside down. We're going to need to change our output a little bit here because of the... Um, chain signal. Can I fit a lane balancer in that space? I don't think so. Wide one is the shortest and we can't quite do it. There's not room for a underground. I don't know why I even tried to do that there. We definitely have room down this way. Um, this whole thing only needs 36 per second. We'll just bring that down here. And we'll do the easiest and smallest lane balancer which is to say the corner. <laughs> mm, excuse me. Uh, that doesn't... Oh, that does line up exactly where we want. Bless you? Yeah, sorry about that. 
messed up with the mute button. Oh, we don't actually need to split from like a bus like that because each of these only needs one belt. Uh, except we do need to bunk. Fair enough. Uh, like so. I would be happier if this was a little more symmetrical. Let's put that there. And then this one... Okay, can I just mirror this part, except for a bit at the top, actually? One, two, three, four. Fantastic. Actually, I should probably start from the end point. So, our other train stop, let's just double check all the measurements here. That goes there, and this one looks correct. Let's put you guys in the middle so you can build everything. Chain signals here. Alright, so this goes here, which means this whole monstrosity flipped around would go here. And obviously we can adjust slightly. Uh, I think I'll just move these top four over a bit. Might look a bit more, uh, a bit better, more symmetrical. So, that one. Wait, what? Do we need that underground there? I think we do. might have to move all of these over one tile which means it's not max length anymore rip and then that goes there Goes there. Make sure we're not getting confused. That one looks a bit weird, but it is correct. And we should probably add some undergrounds just so we don't have belt absolutely everywhere. That'll do. Same thing over here. That looks a bit off. That one looks... That one's gonna look wrong no matter what. I guess that's as good as it gets. Alright, so these are all connected, and then we add this, and these, 
And I think we're about done. Alright. That was more interesting than I thought it would be. Um, let's add some power poles here. And I don't suppose we can make those fit well. Looks pretty good. This one is literally a bit of a stretch. It's one tile. That's a bit sad. Uh, actually, we can just do it like this. It's going to be neat enough. Alright, let's summon our resources. This is going to be iron and steel requester. We're going to give it a standard pickup combinator. And we're going to request a couple of train loads of each resource. And last step is just to connect it to the LTN train stop input. This one is stone. Uh, we need to tell LTN what's in these chests, and we need to request a couple of train loads of stone. Why is it a pickup requester? Wait. Oh. Good point. Yeah. That was supposed to be a drop-off. All I have to change is this. Provide stack threshold becomes request stack threshold. Uh, request stack threshold. 160 is a full train. And we'll need some filter inserters over here as well. Now, we do have a couple of resources that we're suffering a shortage of at the moment. I'm not surprised we do have steel on the way. Um, but we might have to bump up the priority, at least temporarily, so that we can test this. So the next uh, train load of stone and iron plate scheduled should come here. We've got a lot of empty space up here, but it's fine, I guess. I don't think I could have crammed all of this in so that we could double this yet again and fit it all in the same rail block and have the output in the middle. Um, and... Even so, we've already got, theoretically, 360 rail per second from this whole thing. So, I don't think it's entirely necessary. Let's copy this part. And here we go, stone is on the way. The only question now is iron. I'm sure we've got enough steel. Oh, you're actually just starting to go to get steel. So th does that mean iron plate was already on the way? No. Uh, do we have any stuck iron trains after that last patch? It doesn't look like we do. Let's check down here as well. Fantastic. Uh, so the last change I made was to change it back so that the balanced loaders are completely strict. Uh, that seems to have prevented that jamming issue. Where the trains, where the inserters end up sticking out, even though we've got a circuit designed to prevent that. 
I think it's because the chests ended up not quite balanced. Uh, good to see copper flowing. Ella Graven, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Fill empty space with solar? Yeah, I just might. I did that with uh, green circuits. Um, for the same reasons. Um, there's only so much space that you can take up, especially if you're using beacons. There's only so much space you can take up with um, with the limited belt input that you're going to have. Belt input and output. So you may as well fill it up. Um, but yeah, we got our stone. It's a little bit broken because I forgot to swap these around. And... Now we've unfortunately got a little bit of stone where it's not supposed to be. There we go. And you can see the Combinator is balanced unloader doing its thing now. Uh, so this takes up a bit of space, but it will consistently do four blue belts of output. There's our steel. And the only thing we're still waiting on is iron. Alright, let's have a look at the belts down here. I see half belt of stone. Those should all be correct then. Fantastic. We're only waiting on you, iron plate. Uh, here we need some balanced loaders, not balanced unloaders, 24 stack balanced. And on this side as well. Uh, these can just be regular old stack inserters. And we need some power here as well. What would be the neatest way to do this? I think that's it. Now, with stack inserters, even with a stack size of 10, if they're doing the balanced loader thing, they're not going to keep up with blue belts, uh, with four blue belts, if they're trying to be precisely don't pick something up if you're above average. But if we allow them to go one stack ahead, that's going to make all the difference. In fact, why don't I leave these ones set that way? And when we do get our iron plate, this is hopefully it. Here it comes. Fantastic. Uh, you should be able to see the difference between the two stations. What's the... Uh, well, assuming everything's working properly here, uh, and we do get our 180 rail per second. Oh, before that happens... Oh, I haven't set up the LTN stuff. Don't have to worry yet. Here we go. Same deal as what's happening... Uh, with steel and stone, but a bit smaller. Uh, we get combinatorist balanced unloader on that side. And it easily keeps up with two belts. Um, oh no. How embarrassing. Well, that's going to take a moment to fix. Um, not a whole lot of time. Right, let's pick up all of this iron. I think it all flows to here. That's helpful, at least. Uh, 
Artillery shell range is at a whopping 68%. Fantastic. And a couple more to go. Also, why is it a half belt? Oh, I see. All right. So we didn't actually need these extra splitters. All we have to do is send it here. Uh, this substation is in kind of an awkward spot. There we go. In fact, that second substation isn't even necessary. Look at that belt go. And you can see the inserters not going as fast as they should be. Um, putting into the chests. On this side, however, it's not doing a perfect balanced load, but it's close enough. And the belts are not stopping. I don't think we're getting 180 per second, though. We're not outputting the rail full speed. But it's actually bottlenecked on belts. Left, right. Oh, I see the problem here. So on that side it's correct. And on this side it's wrong. Okay. Well, anyway, this is still a good opportunity to illustrate what I was talking about first. So currently... Zero means they're at average because the red wire is telling them what's in the chest as a positive, and we get the negative of the average. It implicitly does addition, addition and subtraction, so if it's less than zero, it's below average, or if it's zero, it's at average. All we're going to change here is changing that zero to 12, which allows it to go a little bit ahead. And as soon as I click this, much faster. But it'll still be pretty much balanced, as you can see. Now, can we fit the right side with these outputs uh, with the space that we have? It's not going to be a problem to fix here or here. The only one that's going to be a bit of a nuisance is this one. Which, we could always have it go across here and merge in instead. Or maybe just... Let's see. What we need is for it to look like that, and then... Will that work? No, I don't think so. Uh, will this work? I th think it will. That'll be on that side and go there. This will be on this side. Yeah, that should be all it takes. Perfect. Okay. Let's, uh... Fix this side as well. And as for these ones... Uh, I think we'll just do the same thing instead of moving all of this down a little bit. I think this is max distance for the belt anyway. Underground belt. 
I'm not going to let the asymmetry of it bother me too much. I'll only lose about seven hours sleep. And I think we're running out of one of our input resources. No, we're actually fine. Yeah. Except I'm seeing gaps in the steel over here. Are we seeing gaps here, for example? No, I th think we're okay. I'm pretty sure. No, we're definitely getting gaps. What's happening? Oh, the consumption isn't even. Probably because of the stops and starts that I had to do here. Hmm. And because of the way this works... Because we've got specific cargo wagons going to specific destinations... Um... The whole thing has to be in sync to go at full speed. Uh, we could, if we really want to, merge all of this and then split it back to here. There's definitely room to do it. Um... It's a bit of a pain. I don't... Honestly, I don't know that I care that much. It's going to sort itself out eventually. Some of those splitters look to be restrictive. What do you mean by restrictive? Oh, and we do need... Wait, how are these all powered if... Because I accidentally removed a couple of these, that's why. Okay. Anyway, uh, rail... ...went from practically nothing, as expected, to... Well, kind of some weird dips all over the place. But yeah, we're looking at like 5.5. Uh, we're looking at about 9,000 a minute. Which is about 150 per second, which is less than half of what this should be doing. But for the edits that I did and the fact that it's dependent on everything being in sync to go at full speed. Once these chests are full, um, everything's saturated, and then we have inputs again and so on, it'll rebalance itself. It's fine. It's way more rail than we're going to need, regardless. So, let's tell LTN what we've got. Basically, what you've fixed, the very bottom machines weren't able to output. Yes. Because when you flip this, it doesn't do what you would hope. Just with the arbitrary side that the insert is in, uh, output onto. Okay, so this is going to be rail provider. Uh, this time, we're going to be correct in saying we should use a pickup for the inserter. And pickups are very easy. This is it. It's done. Uh, you just, well, there's certain defaults built in, but I set those so high that you have to set a provide threshold or provide stack threshold. Um, but yeah, just tell LTN what's in these chests. Set the threshold, limit trains, train length, and it's done. And our 
first rail is going here, because of course it is. The only other destination that rail would have is Purple Science. Cool. So how much have we got here? 32k plus 32k. Fantastic. Um, that's actually already enough to launch a rocket. Nice. Uh, we already set that one up, I think. Looks like the correct station is set up. So now all we need to do to get space rail manufactured is set up copper cable. This is rail, this is steel, and that's all that's remaining. Is it resource starved already? Um, we have actually been... It's stone. Yeah, we've run out of stone. We've actually had stone troubles for a while now, but we did just make, as I said, 64,000 rail. So there's that. Let's get rid of the gigantic priority setting for this now. And next we need... Do we, do we really need an entire rail block just to make copper cable? I feel like maybe I should use one of these little spaces here. Um... How much, how much cable does it actually take to make the space rail? One cable for one bit of rail. But if we want to be efficient, we're going to need a um, hundred thousand to launch a cargo rocket. But I, I don't think it's particularly reasonable to use an entire rail block for this, though. Let's just use this space up here. But. Return priority of delivery to rails by default. You'll totally need a 100k space rail. Yes? So you know what has to be done. <laughs> I don't know, especially because we'd have to put it on belts. Oh, hmm. This is another moment where I'm a bit sad that I don't have a uh, giant chests mod, like warehouses. Because putting cable on belts is suboptimal, to say the least. I wonder if we could perhaps... How far can we go with direct inserting with this? We can have the copper plate on a belt, that's fine. So what if we have the output here? The input here. Oops. And maybe we could... Oh, we could even fit two of these exactly. Hmm. Hello spiders, my old friends. This might actually fit really well. And can we support this with belts? Uh, let's get some power first. 
very sad that doesn't quite reach over. Okay. Nine... 4.5 copper plate per second. That's really easy, actually. 23 per second is slightly more than half a belt, though. This whole thing is slightly more than one belt, which is unfortunate. But I guess that's fine. Oh, wait, no. Copper plate is what we're looking at for the belt. So that's only 18. So I think... We can support this entire thing on one belt of copper plate. Let's put that in the neatest place possible. And confirm. 36 copper plate per second. Uh, 95 copper cable per second is going to take about 17 and a half minutes. I think that's okay. So we're just going to do a copper plate drop off right here. Koi Pu, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And we actually need only one belt, right? So let's do it this way. Uh, if I can find some belt. And we need some inserters here. Per plate. I suppose this is one instance where it really doesn't... No, it does. Um, okay, so we're going to connect up all the inserters. This bit of belt here. And read the belt contents hold. Read hand contents hold. Everything equals zero. And that's our balanced unloader. And then that's it. Now we just need to set station names and so on. Are you going to use rail delivered copper cable anywhere else? You could directly put it into cargo rocket slash delivery cannon. I've already got a system set up to deliver, to rail deliver for the delivery cannons. Um, Oh, that's Provider. If I was going to... somehow jam... What if this one... received Copper Plate? Uh, we could, but... I've literally pretty much finished this build already. Let's just get it done. Copper plate requester. It's a short trip anyway for the train. And the copper plate is going to last a long time to go into this. Uh, actually, it's going to last... Even if it was being consumed in tight, just all the time, that would be a bit under six minutes. One delivery of copper plate takes to get consumed here. OK. 
Okay, we're going to connect that like so. And this one, same deal. Let LTN know what we've got. Add a standard pickup. Standard drop-off. Connect with the red wire. I think the station names are already done. Wait, what? Yep. And request upper plate. I'll just request one train load since I really don't care if this runs dry sometimes. I mean, the state of copper being what it is, it's gonna run dry anyway. Since I really want to push some production over to Space Rail, I think I'll prioritize this one just a little bit. Just bumping it up to one should probably increase its priority enough if the default is zero. The way, if the priority system works the way I think it does. Uh, looks like our Northern Wall is... Where's our radar? There it is. Let me go and finish placing that. If I do it with the navsat this way, I can see where the radar would fit with the blue on the minimap. It's actually a lot better than I expected. There we go. And I think it's about time we upgraded this to use artillery. The artillery should already be in place. Um, where's the next one? Here. I think there's only one spot here where they're going to try and... Oh, I think I forgot to deliver cliff explosives to these, which, as far as trying to avoid destroying cliffs so that we can build walls, um, that's totally fine. I think the construction spiders already did all of the cliff explosives that we actually want to do. So... That works out pretty well. Are those bots stuck? I stand corrected about the cliff explosives that we wanted done already. Let's send our construction spiders over there. And look for any others like that. There as well. And a couple of them over here. Oh, we don't want this one though, but we do want this one. Cliff exploded. Right, um, we also need to add that one combinator. Uh, come to think of it, that's another thing I don't think we've... Oh, is it a decider? Yeah, it's a decider. So we do have those supplied over here already, automatically. Um... There should be a few in storage. Somewhere. And... We're probably just about ready for the artillery over that side as well. But I don't want to do both at the same time. It'll hurt UPS even more than it's already hurting. And away go our bots with more lasers. We did get that combinator built, which means there should be an artillery train on the way. Fantastic. So the artillery train itself will fire some cannons if there's anything in range. Uh, but also we're adding some artillery turrets. 
Oh, here's our copper. Fantastic. And here is our copper cable. How much does it take? I guess we can't, um, we don't have a combinator to point at. We've got only 1.4k copper so far. It's going to take 32,000 to trigger a train trip, which is fine. I don't think we're going to need to produce it that quickly overall. Um, it's so far at least, it's literally just for rail. Uh, that does leave some gaps, but I don't think we need a full belt, do we? 36, that's fine. Fantastic. Alright. Let's continue. How is our little outpost doing? Hasn't been eaten by biters. That's good. Uh, Vita Melange in, s in the... 5k, 12k. Oh, it's... If this is at a standstill, it's more of a question of how much we've got down here, actually. Um, only 3k, 28,000 spice. And where are we sending it up? Here we go. Uh, that is nowhere near a full Targo Rocket of Extract, but there's plenty of spice. And I think the rate that we're consuming Extract is probably super slow. I think it literally only goes into uh, Bioscience, just for the final step. Although it does use 20. Oh my goodness! I didn't expect to see that. We've got a full belt of uh, bioscience. That is really nice considering... Oh, there goes our rail. Fantastic. And I haven't actually put a provider chest or something here yet. This is probably going to make rail really fast when it comes down to it. 10 per second. Cool. So currently we have every science uh, possibly fully backed up. No, this one only comes back to here. But yeah, that's where... Oh, this again... Um, our fluid output but 25 degree thermofluid is stuck. Once again, it's completely full, even though... How... Okay, so I'm pretty sure these machines haven't produced any new 25 degree thermofluid in a long time. Um... We should be losing thermofluid at every step, right? Like, after producing it here, it all gets consumed. But... Doesn't seem to be working out that way. We do have space for more 25 degree thermofluid, but... Doesn't really seem... Oh... Oh. All of this storage here is not helping. In fact, if anything, it makes things worse. Actually, I wouldn't say that, but still. Because it's all on this side of this pump now. So it's not adding capacity to this fluid network here. 
I do wish uh, when you clicked and it said fluid system contents, it would separate um, between where the pumps make it one way. Okay, so we do have room in this pipe network, but I'm constantly seeing this thing blocked by not being able to get rid of the thermo fluid. Okay, now it seems fine. Question mark? Break the system and you'll get two totals. True. Iron Wolf, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Seems to be going okay for now. Maybe I'll figure out why someday. So bioscience is fully backed up. Material science is not working at all because... I think it's because we have no stone. No? Oh, we have, uh... We have material testing packs again. So what is this bottleneck done? Hold... Blank data cards. I think it's going to trace back to uh, rough data storage substrates, which traces back to iron plate, I believe. Yeah. We might actually have to go to, go to another planet to get some iron mines. Can you automate somehow getting rid of overflow fluid? Uh, with, like, cracking? With regular old oil? Yes. Um, you can balance it. From heavy to light to petroleum. But as far as I know, not the coolant up here. The way I've got it set up is we produce 25 degree thermo fluid. We don't pump it into here from these containers unless this is less than half full. And this is the main network of 25 degree thermo fluid. Um, and we're always trying to pump from that network into the inputs for these to turn it into... Uh, cool thermo fluid, and cool thermo fluid gets turned into uh, cold thermo fluid. Cool and cold. Um, I thought I also had a condition so that I should probably have a pump here as well. Now that I look at it. This one doesn't pump in here unless unless this is uh, more than 12,000. Yeah, we should probably be doing the same thing here. I thought I did that before. I don't know why I would have changed it. Let's uh, update that real quick. And uh, that should be... Negative 10 has to be less than 12k. So yeah, unless we're somehow producing a surplus of 25 degree thermo fluid from the actual science stuff. I mean, here it's just going to say that it's going to make 1.9k thermo fluid. But what actually happens is it takes 10 in and it spits 10 out at a different temperature. So yeah, um, I suspect it may have something to do with the fact that I'm using the slow recipe and each of these machines is holding onto a thousand and spits out 500 
fluid at a time. We should be losing fluid, albeit slowly, if we keep this part inactive. Bunk? What are we bunking? Does a flare stack work in space? A flare stack? Mad Mike, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Why is there no power at that refinery that you just showed? Um, because to control cracking, uh, I was using power poles and power switches. Uh, so the way this works uh, is kind of like a latch, but it uses less combinators. All of the storage tanks are connected by green wire. Uh, from there we say, if heavy oil is greater than light oil, uh, output 1S, S times 500, output 500 heavy oil. So this is basically, if heavy oil is greater than light oil, output 500 heavy oil. And we're basically pretending, once there's more heavy oil than light, we pretend that there's even more heavy oil until there isn't by the, uh, uh, until there's like 500 less heavy oil than light oil the power switches are set to heavy oil greater than light and light oil greater than petroleum respectively and each power switch is connected to a line of medium power poles like so that powers all of the uh, cracking. I think the flare stack is K2. Yeah, it sounds like it. Sur surprised you're not running train blocks in space. We're just getting started making the uh, space rail. Um, because we need, what are they called? Energy catalogs. We're doing it here. Uh, we've got Cargo rockets sending up steel, rail, and soon uh, copper cable. And that's where we're going to make our space rail. Speaking of, uh, we now have 10,000. Uh, but we've run out of copper. So yeah, we're really bottlenecked on a few key resources at this stage. Probably because I've set up uh, the main bus base in space to have just ludicrous capacity and throughput. But also we've kind of tapped out, well for certain resources we've all but tapped out our regular mines and we're just running off of I mean we do have iron mines, copper mines, stone mines, coal mines um, just not that much and we're largely running off of uh, ore mining did I not I think I forgot to add the Artillery turrets up this way. Let's do that. Diablo, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How was your stream today? And I think I forgot to... I may have forgotten to shout out... Uh... Scroll, scroll. Salford... No, I did not forget to shout out. Okay, cool. Hectic? What have you been up to? Uh, let's see. This goes here. That should do it. don't think there's any cliffs that we need to avoid over this way. Where did I send my construction spiders? Because I remember they needed to fix something. That's right. They needed to do the cliff explosives. Over here. 
and probably some more up this way somewhere. Just building ever bigger and bigger and bigger, yes. I am getting to that stage as well, although not on your scale. Um, now that we've got rail in the network, I should probably stop procrastinating making purple signs. We could maybe do the productivity modules on site, electric furnaces, require two more inputs. I don't really want to do a rail block for electric fur- oh, we have to do a whole chain to make electric furnaces in space exploration. Yuck. So I think, as much as I hate to say it, uh, maybe we will do a rail block for that. I think I lost the scale somewhere and just keep going. <laughs> Yikes. Um, okay. What should we... Oh, that's right. Copper is up here. That's, like, the whole reason we took all of this space. Let's go get it. Um, we're still bottlenecked on iron as well, but it certainly won't hurt. I don't think... Okay, there's 2.7 million iron there. That's not too exciting. Um, we're down to 23 million here, which is still quite good, but what I really need is throughput. I've forgotten just how desolate Nalvis is resource-wise, especially for iron. I'd advise to go straight to the uh, to the one after Electric Furnace. Oh, the reason I need to produce Electric Furnace is, um, uh, for Purple Science. I've already got, um, the old main bus base and probably also, possibly also the, uh, bot-based mall that I made here, producing furnaces. Or if I haven't already, it's incredibly easy to set up. Um, but yeah. The, I'm only interested in electric furnaces at this stage as a prerequisite for purple science. Uh, just 42. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I should probably set the train limit here a bit higher. Actually, the train might be stuck if we're seeing no motion here. No, I think the trains are all in motion. Yep, here we go. Might be time to add some more trains as well. I did just make another depot so we can fit another 18 quite easily. What is your problem? 480 times 3... Oh. That should not be. Uh, you can go back to depot. I guess I forgot to fix this in the blueprint. That's fine. Right then. Uh, let's start with this small copper mine. Maximum speed, maximum density. And figure out how we're going to lay this out. Probably left to right. And one more down here. Oh, there's a little bit more. There we go. Actually, I might do it 
this way. And we can connect that up here. Oh, these are all facing the wrong way. Uh, that'll give us five belts. But they're going to be... Well, no, I think I want to do it left to right. Okay. Let's try that again, shall we? Uh, I should probably connect power up just so I can see how fast this is going to go. Oh, I've run out of... Uh, I've run out of beacons as well. Let's get the spiders to hurry up and do that cliff exploding, except for this part. And bring them back down here. I know that can't be a biter nest because we've got artillery here. Fantastic. Kills 61. That didn't take long. Alright. Um, that'll be fine anyway. I think we'll just do... I'll just combine it all into four belts. Start with this. Is that going to cover everything? Not quite. Unfortunate. How about we move you up a couple of tiles? And then... Uh, something like this. That's totally unnecessary, actually. I would like to have another one of these here. almost already covered. I think I won't even bother speed moduling that one. It's only got 4.5k to empty out. Right, cliff explosives done. Let's bring our spiders back here. Although the bigger copper mine is much closer to them. Now yeah, let's just get this one working first. Let's bring some rail over this way. Like so. I don't know how much space I just allowed myself here. One, two, three, four belts of input. Yeah, we can do it. Easily. Let's do a... Let me just see where this reaches. That should be fine. Well, I think I might move it up a bit. LTN. Pick up station left. Maybe here. And this goes here. Let's bring you over. 
have a... Oh, that's a bit awkward, isn't it? How about this? You go here. And you go here. This one goes this way. And last but not least, this goes here. Nice. Uh, and then let's see what we need to see in terms of power and rate calculator. Is that actually... No, that doesn't reach. We're definitely going to need to upgrade these, I think. Uh... And I forgot these are all medium poles, so they don't quite reach each other. That should do it, though. Uh, that does not do it, though. There we go. So we're looking at... 171 copper ore per second. That's actually... Pretty good, except it's not going to give us that rate because a couple of these belts are more than 45 per second, and this one is way under. It's good enough for now. Especially since we're about to get a whole other uh, bigger copper ore mine. Plus one pole? Plus one pole. Oh, this thing? Yeah, there's a few spare things here I could trim. Or did you mean something else? Oh, and I should definitely be setting this to... Uh, not that it would matter at this stage, but... Uh, encoded network ID 2 means we're under no circumstances going to take it directly from the copper ore mine into the trash. Why are we still getting rid of stone here? Wait, did I... No, oh, it is priority negative 200. That's weird. I don't think I remembered to set... That thing I just described for these. That's probably why. So we got a stone mine here, a stone mine up here as well, which I also forgot to set this. Coded network ID 2. Um, I know the iron mine has that already. This stone mine up here. I don't know how we've ended up with stone getting taken to a station that has a priority of negative 200 anyway. Um, at the very least, we should have filled up... Wow, that is a lot of steel. Hard to believe we're having iron troubles when we've got this much steel lying around. Um, we've got no copper in storage, no iron plate... No uranium. Quite a lot of coal. We do have stone in storage. That's good. And surprising. Um, no iron, no copper. Okay. So, what I forgot to do earlier is set the encoded network ID for pickups from mines. Um, because the way we've got this set up is because this has an encoded network ID of one, um, 
just like our just like the way we got our storage system to work here uh the default is stations will interact with all other stations but if you set them to a specific encoded network id they will not interact with stations that are on a different uh, encoded network ID. So that way we can avoid trains constantly scheduled to pick up steel from storage and deliver it to storage, for example. Why are those blue inserters? Uh, was it back here? We upgraded them. Also, I should definitely do the usual thing here where we say the inserters are allowed to go a bit ahead of the average. That way we won't bottleneck on them. In that big storage location? Um, I mean, it's storage. It's not... Uh, It's not the highest priority to take from. That's weird. How... How are we putting copper plate in storage? It looks like this came from a small cargo wagon, so maybe it was left over in one of the RoboPort networks. But still, that seems a bit strange. It's been a long time since I even thought about the storage system. That'll rebalance it for a bigger train, at least. Um, but yeah, basically with a combination of priority settings and different virtual train network IDs, uh, we can make sure that stuff doesn't get taken directly from the mine to get disposed of. That's not actually copper over there. Okay. Let's drop some mines over here. Uh, I think we're confidently definitely going to be able to get 180 copper per second from this. Could maybe move that one up a little bit. And that actually just barely covers the copper. Fantastic. Uh, stunned man, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right. Let's just lay out the rest of this mine. And I think it's actually about time to finish the stream for today. It is running significantly later than I normally would. Let's see. Oh, let's not forget to save first. Let's see who's streaming Factorio today. Um, all right. What buttons am I supposed to be pressing right now? Uh, we got Gamer's Circle, some other languages, some more other languages, a lot of other languages. You are, you are, that was it. Wait, what? You have any mod list, yes. Uh, Rolls, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And uh, Zombidito. Welcome, welcome. Uh, I think today we'll drop in on Gamer's Circle. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord at the Blueprints if you're interested. If you have any questions or anything, by all means, let me know. And uh, thanks for hanging out, and do take care. See you next time, guys.